Oi. I, I was so scared just now. What? Oh my god. This happened this happened to this laptop before and I got so frightened. What happened? Uh are you taking a shit? No. Where are you? I was in my closet. Why? I was grabbing socks. Why are you yelling? <laughs> I'm not yelling. <laughs> <laughs> dude i fucking i sh- so i shut down my laptop which i've you know mm. done before obviously and all of a sudden i was like opening it up and i'm like all right do to do do to do gem set 610 not 630 do 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 so all of a sudden it opens up and i see where the usually there's like the little wi-fi like network logo or whatever like <laughs> the fucking i don't know what is it like quarter circles or whatever you know saying like hey you're connected you got good internet connection you're good to go instead it was the hollow globe you know that basically says yeah yeah, oh like (laughs) for a second i was like oh no but then another second went by i'm like oh yeah that sometimes happens right when i open my laptop after i shut it down so but because i was literally opening it at 6 10 i'm like all right let me click this and try to join my and all of a sudden i clicked I clicked it, and there was no like Wi-Fi network anything to connect. It was just the Bluetooth. Yeah, and I'm like, no, 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 no. So I unclicked it, clicked it again, and there it was again. I'm like, no, 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 please not today, please not ever. Actually, (laughs) oh, that's the worst symbol to ever see ever. Yeah, is no symbol to connect to the internet. (laughs) And I got worried, but then I realized I'm like, all right, hold on. (sighs) <sighs> this this has happened before. I know what this means. This just means, well, this just means I'm going to have to plug in my Wi-Fi receiver and then I'm going to have to contact like Windows support or whatever because this happened before. So, or actually, real, real quick, luckily that wasn't the case. The Wi-Fi thing came back like 10 seconds later, but it was the scariest 10 seconds of my life. Yeah. <laughs> but what happened before I told, I think I told you about this. I might, it was like early in this podcast existence where I had like two shows scheduled and I had to cancel one uh, because I had no internet connection. Luckily it was like some dude from wisdom I canceled on. So now looking back, I'm like, Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a shit episode. It was. And by the way, it was like, like a marketer, a marketer, like some, oh, like someone who like tells you how to like deal like with a bad marketer too, not even a good one. <laughs> I, I think it's been established anyone who's a marketer that's on <laughs> wisdom is a bad marketer <laughs> yeah. to not understand the fact that this is not the app to be on. It's <laughs> beyond me. <laughs> so, it's like a marketer on Twitter. I, so, so what? I uh, what's it called? The first time this happened, and it legitimately happened, like my network, like it just wasn't there. It was non-existent. Like I was like, all right, I got to contact someone. Oh, I can't do that through my computer now. And I went to like Best Buy. I went to Geek Squad. Geek Squad's like, oh yeah, the thing is connected. You went to Geek Squad. The <laughs> thing is connected. Yeah, dude. I, I, I'm like <laughs> the fucking Geek Squad. <laughs> I'm like 90. So like they go. Do you have a cousin? <laughs> they go, yeah. Uh, your receiver might be corrupt. Sometimes it happens with these models. Luckily, you're in warranty, but it's connected to your motherboard. And then someone told me the other day, it's like, well, technically everything's connected to your motherboard. Board. yeah literally <laughs> um and i was like all right so how like how long will my laptop be gone i was like yeah probably be three weeks i'm like what the oh, yeah, fuck connect to the earth you know? <laughs> 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 well, i think it really narrows it down hey uh podiatrist my feet are connected to the gravity anything <laughs> yeah. you can do for me <laughs> uh, well uh we might have to cut them off um well, the steering wheel is connected to your engine <laughs> Oh, my hip bones connected to my leg. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I forgot exactly what tr- like I did, but I said, all right, hold, let me hold off on that. I forgot like what led me to the support. I don't even know if it was Windows support, but it was something support where this Indian dude who like, this clearly was an Indian guy. Uh, fucking- oh, he said his name was Mike. <laughs> no, dude, they're, they've been getting better. They're just like, hello, this Kliash. They, they don't even fucking care. They're just like, hey, it's crayon number seven. I don't give a fuck. What do you need help with? So <laughs> he fucking goes, uh, yeah, 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 just go into, th-. like, he has me open, like, the computer's soul 
thing like yeah. something I never thought I'd be able to do. I like I click the start menu. I click like my C drive or whatever. I'm inside the the metasphere. Like I'm like I'm like what the fuck? And he goes, yeah, that that number there, just delete that. That happened when you got your uh, new software update, and it sometimes fucks up the internet. So just delete that and restart your computer. I'm like. You, you want me to, to delete code and restart my computer? He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay. So in my mind for a second, I'm like, there's no way this is Windows support. This is some, this is some <laughs> dude who just like was like, I'm going to fuck with this guy. He's oh, yeah. Gonna, he's fucking, he's just Googling. <laughs> he's going to lose all his files. Fuck him. So I do that. I restart my computer and lo and behold, uh, I have internet. I'm like, oh, I love you, Kliash. <laughs> Kliash. <laughs> You're my favorite. Yeah, I'm shocked he didn't just do Google because that's what he was using. I, but I did. I like the fact that you called someone maybe, for your computer is wild to me. Maybe that is what I did, but I also called someone just in case. But yeah, I don't know. I found out that solution though somehow, and it also it also happened with uh my Bluetooth uh, keyboard too. There was a this might have been on my old laptop, or it could have been on this one, but. Basically the same thing when there was an update, I couldn't connect my keyboard via Bluetooth anymore. Uh, and all of a sudden I had to do the same thing. I had to delete a code or whatever in my Bluetooth settings and lo and behold I was able to connect my keyboard. Mm. It's always scary when you have to go under the hood though. Oh, I'm yeah, like you yeah. were. I don't I, I mean I know a little bit more than you, I think, but I'm still lost. I, I just had to fucking set up a like an emulator. It was, dude. It was a lot, dude. I had to watch YouTube videos. I was googling. Emulator. Like it took like hours. What is emulator? Uh, it's basically pretends to be a Nintendo Switch. Oh, you got a bootleg gaming system? Yeah, I'm playing the new Zelda. It's not out till Friday, but I'm playing it right now. Are you happy about well, it? Well, not not right now, but I like I'm playing it early. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty cool so so far. I like it. Nice. But um, how do you spell Zelda? Z e l d a. Yeah, Z E L D A. You sure? Yeah. But there was something that I had to do before that I did have that took me forever. I, I can't remember what it was, though. What? Fuck. Wait, wait. I don't know. I forget. You forget? It was something like your thing. You always forget stuff. You, you notice that? Well, well, Wait, because I think of it halfway through your thing, but I don't. I don't want to cut you off, so I let you keep going. And then I think of new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's called that's attention deficit disorder. Like that I literally know. is attention deficit. <laughs> For a second, I, I was about to be like, "That's ADHD." Then I stopped saying that's attention. <laughs> then I'm like, "Wait, no, attention deficit disorder is ADHD." Yeah, Jen, that's ADHD. Yeah, you have I mean, ADHD. I've been told. I've been told. <laughs> you clear as day have ADHD. <laughs> I'm not sure it's real, but. Whatever that thing is, I have it for sure. Yeah. I think it's just being a normal person, but, and some people just can focus more, I guess. But Because they're abnormally smarter than you. Yes, I think I'm just dumb. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. ADHD <laughs> like is a nice way of saying, oh, you forget things that we're trying to teach you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's called being stupid, sir. That's yeah. not fair. My son just has it. No, he's dumb, ma'am. He's dumb. And, and he's dumb because you're dumb and you raised a dumb child. What did you think was it? That's like, that's like having a diseased cow and thinking the milk's going to taste good. Uh, yeah. God damn it. Uh, dude, so I've never been to a comedy show before, right? Mm. And I still haven't gone. But Bill Burr is playing at Prudential C- Center, which is yeah. in, in New Jersey. I don't know if you know that or not. And bro, I've heard of that place. Yeah, I wanted to stuff. get like tickets close to the stage. I'm looking at a minimum of like 280 something bucks. Oh, suck my nuts, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Bill, I, I, by the way, I might buy That's him crazy. still. I still might buy him though. You should. You should. You should. It's going to be my first show. It's going to be birds at a big dude, fucking venue. The fucking they devils play there. They're going to be eliminated soon from the playoffs anyway, whatever. The tickets when I could have seen him were like 100, I think, around there. And I, I, it was like a decade ago, maybe at this point. I still regret it to this day not seeing him. True. I like, mean, I wasn't even doing anything. Like I, I was free that weekend. He, at the time, he was my favorite. This is when I first found out about him. For some reason, I was just like, ah, I, I like listening to stand up specials at home better. Fucking stupid, man. <laughs> I say go, go, dude. You'll regret it if you don't. 
Yeah, and also he's getting older. Who knows how many fucking shit. Yes. He could croak. He could have a stroke tomorrow and never be the same. You get to see him live, bro. Oh, Billy Red close. Stroke. Oh, Billy Red Stroke. Yeah, who I knows? Know, dude, he, he might pick me. But you know what the weird, the other thing is, though? None of my friends want to spend that. And by the way, rightfully so. But none of my friends want to spend that much money. So there's a good yeah. chance I'm going alone. Which, you know, fuck it. That's not the worst. That's it's not, not the worst. It's not the worst. I can actually enjoy the comedy show without like my yeah, buddy you don't have to worry about someone who doesn't know about them or like a date or something yeah you don't have to worry yeah because there, there's been times where like i'll be watching comedy stuff with girls and then like they'll look at me like to see if i'm laughing so they can mm-hmm. laugh and it's just like lady if you like it you like it if you don't you don't like, i don't you don't need my fucking uh lady. what's it called my uh no not notoriety my approval to laugh or not like christ just fucking laugh I saw Jim Jeffries. That was the only one I've been to, and it stunk, dude. That's the only show you ever went to? Yeah, comedy-wise, yeah. Why did it stink? You like him. Uh, well, I mean, it probably stunk because no, no this, offense again to you, but it's Jim Jeffries. Like, every, like, nah, yeah, because he was good for a period, but then he sucked. For, and this was after he already had sucked for a while, and my parents got it as, like, a gift. Aw. And I was like, oh, they, they're nice. Like, they had heard me talk about them once, like, years ago. So they were like, oh. Where was the show at? Um, I don't know if I should say it. Oh, it was, like, a small venue? Yeah, it's, like, a really famous. Well, I guess I guess you know I live on Cape Cod. It was the Melody Tent. It's, like, a really famous. Um, Never heard of it. That's where Bill Burr was, too, years ago. Yeah, Did it's, you- like, a, it's some big acts go there, man. Why did it stick, though? Because he wasn't, he hadn't been, he was sober. He hadn't really done comedy in a while. He was, that was when he had his like talk show, and it was like, dude, he, the place was only like half packed. This was before COVID, too. The place was like half seated, and he, that place is usually packed out. And uh, he just sucked, dude. It wasn't good. I got drunk and heckled him. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> I did. What did you heckle him? He, how, how did you heckle him? Because he started bombing, and then people were yelling, and I was like, I started yelling. Oh, <laughs> you know? my God. You literally just drove. You you fucking jumped off the cliff with Eric. Like, fuck, yeah, you yeah. suck. Yeah, I turned on him so quick, dude. The crowd started turning on. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you fucking asshole. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was fuming, dude. I was like, that fucking stinks How now. much were the tickets? Uh, Well, my parents bought them, but they weren't too. They couldn't have been too much. Probably like 60, 80. Oh my god, I can't, <laughs> like, I like how you also preference it, it's like, well, everyone else was fucking doing it, so I oh, just, dude, yeah. you weren't gonna be the only one. He bombed, dude, he straight up bombed. Damn. It was crazy, yeah, uh, he but, deserved to, though. Speaking of, now, I only saw the first, like, 10 to 15 minutes of it, and it was with, like, my boy's girl who was drunk at the time, and she was not making watching the special on TV easy, so, like... Mm. I kind of maybe should watch it again before criticizing it, but you know I actually like John Mulaney, and I actually I say the word actually because yeah. you don't like him. I watched. I don't this, hate him though. I don't hate him, but you're I, right. I, don't I, like him. I watched his new special on Netflix. I think it was Netflix, mm. and it was like since he I guess went through recovery and shit like that with his drug addiction. Oh uh. my god, it was not. Good, like it was just <laughs> it was boring. It was boring, and like. I, halfway through, I'm like, maybe you should uh, do cocaine again. I know, dude. <laughs> maybe you should. Maybe that's what made you funny. And like, all of a sudden, I saw, I just watched the clip of him, right, saying how like, no, I was actually doing well in spite of my drug use, not because of it. And I gotta admit, part of me was like, eh. <laughs> you might have been doing well because of it, man. It, you, you know, you being fucking loud and eccentric and flamboyant and fucking moving around stage and all that, uh, you know, the stuff that made you, I don't know, entertaining. Uh, cocaine might have had a lot to do with it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, dude. An opera like that? George I'm Carlin sure. did a lot of cocaine. Oh, yeah, a lot of comedians, man. Same with yeah. drinking, too, because for certain people, drinking can really, like, get them in a, like, really animated mood. Uh, maybe if you're John Mulaney, Mulaney, up, maybe, and again, I, I gotta give it the benefit of the doubt, I should probably maybe watch it again, but I, if it still sucks overall, maybe just, you know, do some, I'll tell you just this. do some cocaine right before a show. You don't have to do it all the time while you're fucking slapping around your wife, you know, just fucking <laughs> do it after before a couple shows. Not, and it doesn't even have to be like light comedy, just like after before or before uh, every special. 
True. I'll say this, though, because you, I know you love them, and I have a buddy who loves them, too, but just go back and watch another one of the old ones, you know? They're good. Some fresh eyes. Some fresh For eyes. Some fresh you know, eyes. <laughs> yeah, you know, put on your cynical hat a little bit. Oh my Grab god! You always think I have a cynical hat on. No, no, I'm saying it. I'm saying it as a good thing. Like, uh, like put on, like, like look for errors. You know, he's. Not, I don't know. <laughs> I, he's just. He's not that funny. I don't think. I don't think he ever has been. But that might just be my little fucking grumpiness. I think you'd be surprised. I think he's a great writer. I think he he writes great jokes. I just don't think he's that good of a stand up. But uh, uh, let me look I, up his specials. I also haven't watched a full special of his, so I'm also a little fucking. Hater. Uh, it's not, not like I would actually know, <laughs> to be fair. So, I'm like, this guy sucks. I don't think I've seen his stand-up at all. Like, I don't think I've unreal. ever seen his stand-up. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a lick of his goddamn stand-up. I might have seen a clip here and there. When he The, the Radio he City special... Like he's not that funny. The Radio City special was fucking... like That was really good. That was like a big-time special because I think that was, that was the last special... Oh wait, and sack lunch bunch? I don't know what the fuck that is. Well maybe I'll uh, maybe like, I'll check that one out. Uh New in New in Town is really good. And then because I'm looking them up right now. I'm not these are not off the top of my head. And is this one good? Well, of course, yeah. The, the comeback kid, I don't know if that one's good because I don't remember any jokes from it. I don't think I saw that one. I might have just heard bits from it. But I do know New in Town which I like, and there are funny bits from that. I think the subway. Like you know joke how we make there? fun of like the Theo Vaughns and the Burt Kreischers and the shit. So you put John Mulaney in that same class? Yeah, but for nerds. I don't get it. Like he's, I think he's like the surface level comedian, but for dorks. Still a little confused. Like you know how we were saying like Burt Kreischer and like Theo Vaughn, like they're funny to people who aren't really into comedy. But they're funny to like the everyman type of guy. I think this guy's that same thing, but for dorks. Yeah, like Burt Kreischer and Theo Vaughn are kind of like late night television, like how like mom and dads just watch TV while also like on their iPads and making dinner. Yes. Okay. I think like John Mulaney's for like the guy like our age watching Comedy Central. Like he's not really in, he doesn't know like the good people of comedy yet or <sighs> never will. I disagree. And he's like settles on this guy. Like I dis- this guy is the first stop okay. on the road, you know. I would that disagree with that because when I also listen to Burt Kreischer and Theo Vaughn, there's no depth in the writing of the material. Where, That's true. At, yeah, and I think even you would say that there is depth into at least John Mulaney's yes. writing. He's a good. He's a really good writer, I think. Yeah, and that sh- that I shows, think he's written for good shows too. Yeah, and that's a different ability that I don't think those other two even th- like would even like be close to. No, yeah, I don't think Bert Kreischer no, even knows how to write. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I, think, I, I think you're right. Yeah, and I also think uh, like Theo Vaughn would like be like, yeah, I'll give it a try, and then like he, because he's so nice, people will be like, oh no, it's really good, oh, and great. then like he'll have like an episode like I understand it wasn't exactly what I was like trying to put out there, but you know I am happy for anyone who did like it, for anyone who didn't. <laughs> yeah. No, I totally get it. I really I want to get better, and I think I'll get. It's like that doesn't give you a fucking. <laughs> free pass be that you sucked you still yeah. suck that that doesn't mean like pe- people automatically have to be like oh you know yeah he, he he's trying he's oh he's 50 <laughs> <laughs> like christ dude damn it <laughs> like fu- like that's like it's you know what it is it's like when the homeless guy goes oh well god bless you sir it's like well now it's, it's the south park joke well now i gotta give you change it's like no you don't you can still walk away just walk away bro <laughs> <laughs> fucking hey man i'm sick of that shit how old I'm is this dude hold it he's 43 all right who uh theo von all right it's stop it's, it's it's like the louis ck joke he's a 40 year old you're saying like no one cares about a 40 year old stop pretending like he's like some fucking 16 year old who's still trying <laughs> damn it God, what is he like is he retarded like is he actually he could, retarded? Like does he have a, I, He seems like it. he might be. Re- he actually might be. Retarded. <laughs> <laughs> he might be like autistically retarded. He, yeah, I think he he is. He's got to be. All right. Well, now I feel bad. But so is like John Mulaney, you know, <laughs> <laughs> just in a different way. Like unless he's on coke, then he's pretty funny. You oh, know, that's right. I'll say that like John Mulaney is like he's kind of like 
Brian Regan's younger brother. If that makes any mm. sense, I well, Brian okay. Regan's really funny though. I well, that's well, I do like Brian Regan. I actually like John Mulaney more. I haven't heard Brian Regan. What, dude? I well, yeah. I also you ha- like what? Dude, yeah, dude, pretty, dude. Brian Regan's one of the fucking. He's like the funniest, cleanest comic that's ever. I heard. like Brian Regan a lot. I'm and but you have to remember, I like John Mulaney a lot too. That's fair. Yeah, you know Brian Regan does do the the voice shtick, but still, he's still fucking funny. I fun. haven't heard one of his jokes in a long time. Like, is oh. he still doing any type of specials or anything, or is it just like what? I don't he know, doing? but he he went on. Um, I think it was Bill Burr's podcast a while back, and he stinks, dude. He stinks on podcasts. Like, dude was the dullest, most boringest guest I've ever heard on a podcast in my life. I can s- I can me, see but. that because I can see like. You know, a lot of people like to think, I'm not saying you're doing this, but a lot of people like to think like stand-ups, like that's who they are in real life. Right. And he's like insane on stage. Like he's really like running around and like really loud voices and shit and changing voices like you said. I, but I can totally understand if like that's just not him in everyday life. Right. Yeah, it's probably like a well-polished act that he like follows to a T and then... He's probably a good writer, but that's what it's so you kind of putting him in that category kind of fits actually with a John Mulaney, maybe. Uh, you know who really stinks? Who's like in like that? You ever you ever listen to? <laughs> yeah, the, can you come pick me up, <laughs> dude? His whole bit when he has to call an ambulance. <laughs> Shit, I forgot stomach. how I forgot how good that was, dude. He the bit. <laughs> yeah, he can you come pick my <laughs> me up? My tummy hurts. <laughs> the bit. And he's he, like, the, he's like, then I got, he's like, I get to the hospital and there's no valet. He's like that's the biggest oversight in the solar system. <laughs> yeah, I'll just park this while I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever hear his bit when like the car is just broken down in the middle of the highway it's like no car but it's like the car just go gah, 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 gah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is fucking damn he is fucking funny man i forgot about that bit i haven't heard him in a while but howling dude <laughs> um, howling laughing dude the comedian that like like he has like a lot of specials and I've tried listening to so many going, there's got to be something there that I'm not seeing. Like, where is it? Like, where, where, are I? where is it? I'm digging. I'm digging so far. Uh, you ever hear the comedian uh, Christopher Titus? Yeah, you. I've heard of him from you. You've mentioned him before, back way back he in the day. He stinks. I've never seen him, though. Don't, you know, really bad? He, dude, I, you know what it is? Like, part of me is like, all right, maybe this is like Daniel Tosh's dad or something. Or like he. Oh, he just put out a special eight days ago. Are you being serious? <laughs> yeah, I typed in his name eight days ago. Christopher Titus, zero side effects, full stand up special. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh I swear to God, I had no he's idea. He's still kicking. He's still. T- I watch it. Watch the. Fr- All right, hold on. It's in. It's on YouTube. It's an hour. Should 19- we watch? Should we like go into a random part of it and watch like a minute? Uh, random or. Just the beginning, because if it's random, it could be a callback that we're not giving the Ooh, benefit. Okay, of the, we'll go to the first joke then. All right, cool. Oh, uh, and I can tell totally, he's gonna ham up the crowd. It's good to be at this theater. Oh, this oh is why good. does this guy look kind of familiar? Was he like big back in the day? I don't know this. Guy. That's the thing. Like, part of me is like, how did this guy get big? <sighs> was he like one of the Comedy Central guys that was always doing specials? Or? Yeah, like a Comedy Central presents kind of thing. I'm gonna look up ah, his yeah. filmography. Maybe he was on like. Special Gee, unit, don't know. Kind of looks familiar. Killer clown. Cl- he was in Crazy killer- when you stump me. When you stump me with a comedian, that's how you know this guy's fucking niche. Killer clowns from outer space. What the fuck was he in that? Special unit. Uh, uh, due to the Fairness and Disabilities Act, the Los Angeles Police Department was forced to hire four handicap undercover. Uh, everyone and their mom's got a special now, huh? Well, this guy's he now nah, he's got a ton though, and I think he's been no, around, I know he's been around I think since the nineties, and it could have been the eighties as well. His big special, I think, I want to say this is the uh, Christopher Titus Love and Evil from oh mm. nine. I could be wrong, I, but like I don't, I just don't get it. But maybe he's not that big, and I'm just like hamming it up. I'm like crushing this like guy who's just trying. He's just trying to be a comedian. <laughs> He's yeah. He's like a clean um who is the dude? Oh, he's clean. No, 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 he's not clean, but like oh, 
what I'm trying to say is, who is the guy who got accused of stealing um, Carlos Mencia? Bill Hicks's jokes. Oh, oh, yes. Um, firefighter TV. The firefighter show. guy. Fuck, what Lollipop is his name? in the head joke from the fucking bow and arrow. I know exactly. Who you, God damn it! What's his fucking name? Dennis Leary. Dennis Leary. I didn't yeah, look yeah. that up too. I fucking it was on the tip of my. He's, God, I, when I say he's like the clean version, I just mean like he's actually like the light version. <laughs> uh, bless you. He's like Thanks. the light version. This of guy Dennis does Leary. kind of give me that vibe. Dude. That was the vibe. I was. I said Daniel Chosh first, but and I like Daniel Chosh. No, no. Dennis Leary took off his fucking. You know, leather jacket. Stop stealing jokes. If this this would be the yes, guy. that's that's exactly it. That's exactly it. why is this not full screen on my thing? All right, here it is. That's exactly yes. it. Stop sneezing. Jesus, Bless thank you. All right, I think. Oh, is he is, do, is he going to do screen shtick? Is he going to make jokes with the? Oh screen? yeah, like a one man show. I'm um, around. All right. That looks like a Bill Burr right here. <laughs> he does like, look like a, he could be, he he looks, could be Bill Burr's cousin. <laughs> he looks like if Bill Burr not only moved to LA, which he did, but also decided to indoctrinate like the Botox and the facelifts and, yeah. the, and the hair plugs. Like, like Scientology Bill Burr. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Catholic, really does. Catholic Burr. Like yeah. if, if Bill Burr decided to become one of those like priests, but that have the big cathedrals and shit. Yeah. Like the who's the Osmosis Jones looking motherfucker? Um, oh, Tony uh, Robbins. No, something Osborne or whatever. Who's, oh, I know he's. Who's the big church guy? Uh, oh, big the, church priest. I know he's the really creepy looking guy. Yeah, this is gonna drive me nuts. What's his name? Ah, uh, fuck. Hold on. I never knew his name, but I think I know the face guy you're talking about. Oh, we all know the face with the big fucking smile. Where the reporter's like, why do you have a private jet? No, that was a different guy, but that, that guy uh, was insane. That big guy was church. creepy. <laughs> um, because God commanded Pastors? Are they pastors? Like a televangelist? Oh, uh, this is Joel, Joel Osborne? Is it Joel Osborne? Oh, it's Joel something. Austin. Joel Austin. Joel Austin. Joel yeah. Austin. This is if Bill Burr and Joel Austin became a person. <laughs> Hands down. I can see it. Dying of freedom. <laughs> I think you skipped halfway and through the joke. One conversation. Huh? I think you skipped halfway through the joke. Welcome, Christopher Titus. I like how we're just killing this guy. <laughs> what? I like how we're just killing this guy. He could be the nicest person in the world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, I'm telling you, like, is I listen. By the way, this guy kind of looks like if I grew up and decided to get Botox. <laughs> like, I swear to God. <laughs> His hairline receded the same way mine did. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> Your hairline receded? I'm starting to get those widow peaks, man. Oh, jeez. Those Italian widow peaks. God. That sucks. Yeah, I'm dying. At least you're not going bald. Never know. Never. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't count it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you for lowering it. Is there a reason why this is in 120p? couple years living through the book of revelations theme park everybody good <laughs> my god california always on fire east coast underwater midwest having cyclone hurricane bomb blizzards <laughs> south dying of freedom <laughs> and there should be one conversation you vaccinated yes end of conversation but we're so damn competitive you vaccinated yes and then we go what'd you get <laughs> Is there a bad answer? I got the J&J. &J. <laughs> Good luck with that pudding, blood. Hope that works out. Hey, after you have that stroke, I'll come over on Wednesdays and wipe you, because I'm a good friend. <laughs> Currently, I am fully vaccinated. I am double boosted. That's right. Zero side effects. Uh, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Zero side effects. Not zero side effects. I have a burning desire to switch from Mac to PC. I don't know what that's about. How?
What? <laughs> what? This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> like, who is this guy? <laughs> I, Jeff, I don't. I hate it. <laughs> well, all right. First off, I wasn't able to even watch it in like 1080 or 720p. For some reason, it was insanely pixelated. Yeah, it's because Discord. I know it's a Discord thing because you're. You, I saw you even click the little gearbox like oh, it's 1080p for me. Yeah, <laughs> but but yeah, dude, I, it doesn't I, make it better. I'll tell you that. Jeff, I don't. I but the, the crowd loves it, and I'm like, what? What? Are they? Dude, I don't know. Do I don't they, know. Do they have a laugh track? Like, I don't know who the fuck this guy is. I just, I'm so confused. Is this guy like in the CIA? Like, what is this? Is this a psyop? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you, you get it then. Yeah, he's not funny. I, I but uh, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, not saying he he might. And all I'm, his, sure no, I'm telling you, all his jokes are like that. I swear to okay. you. Like when that joke came out, I was like, I'm so happy this is the example because it's all it's like this all the time. I've seen a special and a half from him, and I don't. I didn't. By the get way, it. I would love nothing more than to think he's funny. I was really trying. I was. I gave it a fair shake. I wasn't I, just. I sit smiled on it. at the Mac PC thing. Just because that was out of the blue, and then I like that was it. There was like a little smile. I smiled because I hated it. So <laughs> 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 the hacky like, well, a side effect made me want to change my computer. Come in, like, shut up, guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, as soon as I heard pudding blood, I'm like, Jem's gonna pause it soon. Yeah, what was that? <laughs> I don't know. It's like, what is that? You know how like you and me, it, more so me. Like I'll do it a lot. Like where. I'm trying to like one up something someone says and mm. I'm just like thinking something out of the box and like it's like alright you're trying a little too hard buddy it's not funny right it, it was it's like that but like you wrote it down and you practice it and, and rehearsed wrote, it and, <laughs> <laughs> and, and you, went across toured across the country saying it <laughs> yeah and you were like yeah this is good this is good for an hour 19 minute special on YouTube I don't think I've ever heard a comedian say the name of their the special in the first minute, dude. <laughs> like he came right out like zero side effects. First minute, it's like, dude, what? Usually you let that shit like. Do you want to give like, like another yes, bit? Yes. yes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm invested now, dude. Yeah, that's how I felt. <laughs> now I like I want him to prove us wrong. <laughs> he just whips out his dick and one. starts jerking off. It's like, well, all right, I gotta admit. <laughs> I can see why I've never heard of this guy. Though. A blue comedian. This guy's not, and I, I I'm in that world, dude, of podcasts. I've never this guy's never been on a podcast I've listened to. Let me look all up right. one thing, because now I'm starting to feel, I'm actually feeling all right. Christopher <laughs> Titus net worth. Weird has it been? Oh yeah, let's see. Is he? Oh, uh, uh, it's two million. He's not like some huge, huge comedian. Ah, but he's successful enough. Maybe he's done acting. He's that. De- well, that's what I looked up. I didn't see that much. He's definitely successful uh, enough. It must be touring then. You can make a good penny from touring as a headliner. Yeah, oh, you, you're not- you know what I bet it is? I bet he does a lot of private shows. Oh, the corporate gigs? Yeah. I bet he's a big corporate gig guy. Big private show, corporate corporate gig kind of guy. He seems like that. He'd he be seems perfect like he's got that look. for that. Weddings, perfect oh. for that. Like little edgy, but not too like still family friendly enough. There you get bam. I think like you said, my, he's kind of cleaner. It seems. Yeah, he's he definitely seem like he's thrown out like cunts or like faggots or anything. <laughs> no, and he's clearly like yeah, yeah. Everything you just said, yeah. <laughs> we give we let it ride a little more. <laughs> <laughs> See if he can dig himself out of this one. Uh in, man, the fear of isolation, the fear of dying on a ventilator, the fear of touching anybody, even myself. <laughs> Although I've stopped taking Prozac for my running out of toilet paper anxiety. <laughs> Currently using Quilted Northern like I'm the Great Gatsby. <laughs> Freedom! COVID, man, it was just a bad, weird, long-term relationship, man. It was like being with my ex-wife, except with more mucus. <laughs> I told that joke because I guess I miss going to court. 
Jam, jam, jam. <laughs> I mean, this hurts. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> like how? It'd be, it'd be like being someone's an, an architect for fucking 30 years and the, like, they can't and then, build a house. And like. then you go, oh, can I see your portfolio? And it's just like crayon pictures. <laughs> and he's got the little squiggly lines for smoke coming out the chimney. <laughs> like, how is this a thing? I don't get it. I don't get it. Who is this for? This is great, though. I'm so happy that you're like, like I'm happy that for once, like, I'm showing you something new. I know, this is crazy, man. Oh, fuck. It's, it's weird how people like this can slip through the cracks and, like, find their audience, you know? I th- I feel like if you turn the camera to the crowd... <laughs> it's just a, one of those fake skeleton guys <laughs> just one, alone. <laughs> <laughs> that would, dude, if that were the case, like, at the very end of the special, it turns to the crowd and, like... It's just a big speaker and no one's there. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, this is the funniest comedian of all time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I would actually be, it's just a big teddy bear. It's just M. Night Shyamalan, like, I've done it again. <laughs> I mean, it, to be fair, it hasn't shown the crown once. I, well, I legitimately, though, like, if there is a girl, I do think there is a crown. <laughs> but let's say if there is a, I, it's got to just be a bunch of, like, moms, you yes, know? Yes, yeah. Who, like, who have husbands. Who don't even know who he is, I feel like. Like, they just saw a show was coming to town. And they got it, like, it's like It's like um, SNL or, like, The Daily Show where they're literally pulling people. Like, hey, you want to, like, see SNL <laughs> yeah. tonight and be part of the credits? Like, they're, they're barking on the street. They're on fucking 8th <laughs> Avenue or whatever fucking CBS Studios were. Hey, Dave Chappelle's coming tonight. Hey, oh, you really? want to come see? Oh, well, I don't. I got and stuff to do. And like, no, no, just come in. Just come in. It's a free show. It's a free show. <laughs> Bill Cosby's going to be here. And it's Christopher Titus. <laughs> yeah, that guy stinks. It's Jim Norton with hair. <laughs> In way better shape. <laughs> I was so happy I told someone like brought up Jim Norton today. And I was like, oh, did you ever hear this Patrice O'Neill bit? And it was the one like. I told him the one where it's like, Jim's whatever shape you pour him in. Yeah. <laughs> when you told me that, it's the one of my favorite fucking... It's, I can't get that out of my head, dude. Every time I see Jim Norton, I think of that bit. Yeah. <laughs> Jim's whatever shape you pour him in. It's a fucking weird looking dude. Oh, man, he's like... He's like... like an uh, nematode. He's like Osmosis Jones. <laughs> yeah, but like if Osmosis Jones that. became that, I know that's the second time I brought up Osmosis Jones <laughs> This one makes more sense though Was that the one where he shrinks To the size of like a pill Yes uh, Yeah yeah he, well like a, a cell Or whatever And was it Will Smith It's Will Smith It's a great movie It's a great movie I haven't seen it since it came out though Bill Murray's in it It's a great kid He's like, movie. He's like a, a cop on the beat right yeah, and, like, and he's trying to take down viruses and ailments in the right. human body. Gotcha, gotcha. It's good. I like Who's it. the main villain? Like fucking E. coli or something? No, I think it's just some random virus that at one point causes uh, Bill Murray's character to have like a severe fever. Uh, I don't think it's any... I don't think they give it like an... It, because it's a, I like a kid's movie, and it, it seems like almost like as a made-for-TV movie, but it wasn't. I don't think they want to give it... An, like They don't want to be like, cancer like they don't want like some five-year-old to be like my dad's gonna die of cancer like, yeah <laughs> so they just like, it's just some generic like bad guy who's also yeah, it's a like virus the cold. it's more than the cold oh okay it's they, like I, more serious yeah but i don't think again i don't think they just i don't think they give it a name it just is a virus yeah just like a like naming viruses is a new thing. Uh, it's AIDS, Jim. You know, I don't know. They, I, like, are you happy? It was a movie for six year olds, and they gave Bill Murray AIDS. Yeah, but I uh, wait. It was Bill Murray. Yeah, he was the the father. Oh, the okay, dude. I rewatched uh, Bugs Life the other day. It's it still holds up. Yeah. Well, first off, I love a Bugs Life. Like, if you watch, it's so good. If you watch Monsters Inc., it does not. It doesn't hold up graphically. Yeah, the, the graphic that you're right. For the, some reason, a Bug's Life does though. It was in '98, and it's still. I'm like, it, I mean, it looks dated, but it's like it's not terrible. I think it's be, uh, dude, maybe because they're ants. And what the fuck? You're right though. There, there is something about like 
it's something about the smoothness and roundness of their heads or something. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. I want to go back to Osmosis Jones for real, real quick though. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Just real quick because, <laughs> because of how successful the movie was, they made, <laughs> was that Disney? I, that I, wasn't Disney. It might've been Disney because I think it was on the Disney. So this is the thing. They made a TV show, like they, a, uh, a spinoff mm. and dude, I, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to ruin. The, you saw, you said you saw the movie, right? What movie? Osmosis Jones. Yeah, of course. All right, all right. I think uh, we just watched it in school, though. It oh, of course. Good. I saw it in health class. Yeah, I don't um, think I actually, like, chose to watch dude, it. Dude, so, like, the whole point of the movie, like, outside of, like, Will Smith beating the virus and everything was, like, Bill Murray's character, like, becoming a better father and healthier for his kid and everything. And then the fucking TV show comes out. Where it's no longer partially live action. It's just a cartoon, obviously, for, like, budget reasons and whatnot. But, mm. dude, the very first, like, scene of the TV show. It, don't click off this. I want to see more. The very first <laughs> scene of the t- <laughs> no, We're watching this man drown. This is, like, we don't usually have material for a podcast. This is t- <laughs> the very first scene for the fucking Osmosis Jones TV show is Bill Murray's character becoming, like, obese and unhealthy again and just eating like a cheeseburger or whatever and drinking soda and like osmosis jones character basically oh no he's back at it again i guess i'm going to the and now he's like inside like some teenager or like some young boy's body or whatever so will smith's now inside a young boy and that and then you know like he's now there to fight off viruses and everything while the kid's going through like growing pains as being a kid blah 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 but dude i fucking remember that leaving like such a bad taste in my mouth like i'm over here like as an adult now like a Set with the Osmosis Jones fucking, <laughs> but dude, I remember it like to this day. I remember it. I was like the whole fucking point of the movie, the movie that you wrote, that you like had pride in. I think, I think, I want to hope and believe that you did. Was Bill Murray's character becoming like this good dad, and within the first scene of the TV show, you just <laughs> throw it all away and like, ah, <laughs> nah, this guy's a fat piece of shit again. On to the next. I was like, holy, what the fuck, dude? Come on. <laughs> That's, dude, I didn't even know there was a show. I just learned a lot. <laughs> I, f- I think it might have been only lasted either half a season or up to two seasons. I don't know. But yeah, there was a spinoff TV show. That's so funny. And I gave it and a chance I, too. Like I remember watching it in school, but I don't remember. Like I didn't even remember Bill Murray was in the movie, let alone a part of it. Like he had his whole arc and stuff. I thought it was all animated inside the body. I didn't know there was like an actual other element to Not it. Not only that, his uh his buddy at one point in the movie, who has the bit where it's like uh like something a cold drown a flu. So he's like basically like drink beer to drown the flu or whatever. Is actually mm. I think one of the guys from like an old adult swim show. I could be mistaken, but I, th- I think it is. Who's actually a pretty funny guy. Like, he's played funny characters before. Mm. But uh, you want, let, let's skip. Let's skip some material here. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think Maybe you just get it. warmed up. Oh, see, it gives us the... the oh, let's peak, go to Peaks. Peak. Yeah, let's go to see what Peaks... Let's peak. go to the most replayed. Oh, I love you. I love YouTube for adding this. This because it's better than Twitch. It is. It's not even close. Protected under the overpass. <laughs> I stood on the off-ramp for 13 hours. Mom, I made $22. You can have it. No, I don't need it. What am I going to use it for? <laughs> college? I can't afford 40 grand in college debt that I won't pay off till I'm 50. <laughs> so what I did, Mom, was I decided to join the Army. I'm going to the College of Afghanistan. <laughs> and they went to war. Yeah. And they came back in the drawdown in 2014, and they were busted up. And they had PTSD. And they healed for the next two years. And they were like, you know what? It's 2016. We have a new election. We're going to make a better, Jen, pause it. brighter America. <laughs> I'm so bored. I know. I, I'm so, I don't care what, like, I feel like this is going to be a joke that ends with, like, not, like, laughing. It's like people cheering, like, yeah, right on, <laughs> man. You tell them. He has fake rips in his jeans, first off. Uh, <laughs> and he's 50 something. Yeah. Oh, look at it. Look at this guy. I, I, uh, God, my tummy hurts. You know who the, he's standing so skinny. You know who the skinniest person in existence is? That, uh, girl that, uh, Eddie always, Ed did No, Wiz Khalifa. 
He is very dude. And you know what's crazy? <laughs> oh, I, I got I got to cancel he, out of this. Too, I but think I'll he come has back a kid time. with that uh, Amber Rose girl, and her body's thick. <laughs> so that must have been a that must have been like remember like how when the stick figure in a bug's life and then there was that big slug that wanted to be a butterfly yeah i love that yeah I th- that's like wiz khalifa fucking amber rose i know see but i remember that butterfly being awesome but then I, when i rewatched it the other day the butterfly he do- he just gains these two little wings yeah like, remember yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't actually turn into a butterfly. I was so bummed out. Because in my mind, I remembered him turning into this totally like beautiful, different thing. Hey, what are you going to do? Instead, he grows two little wings, and I was like, oh, I got robbed. Huh. Trying to find this. Amber Rose is thick. She got, oh, she got that. She might have a mitten down there. Jesus Christ. I can't play with the sound on, but. Uh, what, 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 what do you mean you can't play with the sound? Oh, because well, it's, it's copyright. Oh, that's right. You're just showing me something, though. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Khalifa? <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> His... <laughs> dude, dude, if I saw him in the th- forest or whatever, I would think it's that the Slender Man dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy shit. I remember I saw this when it came out, and I was like, and I said, I was like, dude, this is the skinniest guy I've seen. <laughs> oh my god! Well, I mean, at least he's like, he's probably healthy as shit, though. It looks fake. <laughs> it it, it <Yeah>. does. <laughs> it looks like they like put a graphic on it. Um, well, he's healthy now. Apparently, he like works out, and he's like a fighter. Oh yeah, he's actually low shit, dude. Look at him. He looks yeah, he's toned as shit. Good for him. I mean, he went on Joe Rogan a while back and was like, "Yeah, I love fighting." That's what every skinny guy says. <laughs> that's yeah. what every skinny guy who like, oh damn, this dude shredded now. Yeah, good for him. Look at the f- dude; he's fucking cut. They got black belt, maybe. Oh, that's twenty eighteen. What does he look like now? Twenty twenty three. I feel like people forget how big this guy was. He, dude, high I was never that into him, but like everyone I knew, lo- like high school man, he was like for parties that people were drinking oh, and getting tapes. high. People were fucking, dude. He, he and he's like big, and it looks like he's doing it one hundred percent natural, and he's in great shape. Mm. I hope he's internally healthy because externally he looks like he's in phenomenal. Like, and when I say that, I mean it in terms of like. He just looks like he's healthy. Like there, yeah, are, yeah. there are people that put on so much muscle mass where it's like, all right, you don't look healthy though. <laughs> like you look like you're having t- trouble breathing. Yeah. <laughs> Wiz Khalifa looks like he can like run a marathon and then be like, all right, like, 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 and just like be able to swim like 10 miles or like, he just looks like he can do stuff. Yeah. Not, he looks like he's in good shape. Yeah. Not get tired. Not like overly like in shape and not like. Yeah, run down, but just like good shape. Yeah, like a wide receiver or a cornerback in football. Because he's a tall dude, I think, too. Yeah, he, yeah, he seems that he's probably like 6'2 or something. Um, His height, 6'4, yeah. Oh, shit. Even taller. Yeah, to have that muscle mass at 6'4, good for him. You know who uh, was big during his time and, I, and who I like a lot more mm. um, is Kid Cuddy. I love Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi was so much better. Are you kidding me? You're so right. Yeah, and then he... Hold on. Kid Cudi was a vibe, dude. He was a vibe. He got addicted to fucking coke. Did he really? He was also on Joe Rogan a while back. Yeah. I didn't know that. He he went through recovery and everything, which I had no idea because he just seemed like a stoner to me back in the day. So his he had big albums, obviously, but then in 2014 was also like day and night. a transition where people stopped listening to him, but he came out with an album that like, I guess some people around my age were going to like give a chance and it was called satellite flight, right? Mm. The journey to uh mother moon. I mm. loved that album. I fucking, it good? it's a, it's probably my favorite album from him, but no one else liked it because it really, if you listen to it, it's not really a rap album. It's almost like mm. a, like a, a slow rap, like trance album. 
but I fucking loved it. It's it might be it might be my favorite album from him. I loved Damn. it. Trouble Boys in it, Satellite Flights in it, Destination Mother Moon's in it. There's a there's a lot of fucking songs in it that I liked or loved. But uh, I think people who were like into the whole like Wiz Khalifa, Kid Cudi, uh, even like to a degree Kendrick Lamar in terms of like rapping about weed, uh, alcohol, and girls, like that album just didn't um, transcend with them. So it's almost like after that album, he kind of like faded away. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I only really knew him during his like main album, like Man on the Moon. I think it was his like main main album, which everyone knows him from. He kind of faded. Um, he the, wasn't a one hit wonder, but he was like a one album wonder. I feel like what album is the song where it's like Enter the Galactic, you and me? Da, 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 da. I think it was Enter the Galactic. That makes sense. But like, I'm trying to find the date. I don't. I I think was that the one with Heaven at Night? I love that song. No one wants a trouble, boy. No one. Uh, where is it? Da, da, da. This is us just. We've been looking up comedians and hip hop rap artists. <laughs> I forgot about fucking Kid Cudi. Everyone did. Fucking. Trip. He was a vibe, dude. Enter Galactic. Oh, was this Man on the Moon? Is that what it's in? Man on the Moon? I think it's Intergalactic was its own album, wasn't it? I thought so too. Man on the Moon songs. Is yeah, Intergalactic is the, the album, and then the song obviously is from the album. Wait, Intergalactic says twenty twenty two. Nah. Uh no, it was way old. It, that was from like fucking when I was in high school. That's what I'm saying. The I think he, I think that was the album before his biggest one. That was like his. He's gonna drive me nuts. I'm just going to Spotify. It's so much easier. This one. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking like this is Google can suck a dick sometimes. Like, Google's starting to piss me off. Wait. Oh. He had a song called Enter Galactic from way back in the day, but he put out a album Enter Galactic in 2022. Huh. Yeah, Enter Galactic's in... Why do people do that? They repeat names. Like, it makes everything so fucking confusing. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Man on the Moon. Because Enter Galactic was from, like, 09. Yeah, Enter Galactic's Man on the Moon. Let's see. All right. I always like also, like, finding, like, how many songs in the album I like. So, let's see. In My Dreams is good. Soundtrack to My Life, obviously, was really popular. Yes. <laughs> Um, Pursuit of Happiness was probably the most popular. Day and Night was insane. Day and Night uh, was the most. Day and Night, Alive is a great song. Pursuit of Happiness. Solo Dolo. Man on the Moon. I, I know. Fucking. These are all. She wants all to erase me. Uh, which one? <laughs> that was on his second album, which is Man on the Moon Two. Um, Erase Me was on that album. I don't remember Cuddy Zone. Mr. O, uh, is it Rager or Rager? I forget. I gotta listen to the song, but that was a great song. I haven't heard that in my Trapped in My Mind. So, Man in the Moon really only had like two or three, I really remember. What's this one? Indie Cool. No, oh, you remember Solo Dolo. You would if you heard it. You yeah, probably know all these songs. So these were all huge, man. This album was huge. Yeah, you know, but the thing is, as I've been older, like these past couple of years, as I've been older have gotten older whatever i only kind of go back to maybe one or two songs from his first two albums and then i just go back to that other one that other one yeah and what was the other one kid cuddy presents satellite flight it's, satellite I flight. fucking love it because i gotta check that one out destination mother mood which is the beginning of the album good um satellite flight itself the song great <laughs> Internal bleeding in my dreams. He, Return of the man, uh, the moon man. Loved it. And then trouble. Dude, boy. he loves the fucking moon. <laughs> he loves the moon. <laughs> this guy's obsessed with the moon, brother. <laughs> Him and Hobson for some reason love the fucking moon. You know, I never liked. I never liked Chance the Rapper. Chance the Rapper fucking sucks, dude. I also didn't like. Uh, he's popular now. That um, who's that guy? 
He's like this white dude with like a Jufro. Oh, fucking Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow, thank you. That guy stinks. He's not. I, I, well, you know, actually, I don't think I've given him a chance. I don't even None. know if I know a song off the top of my head. He's an industry plant. What does that mean? I mean, someone that like big money just props up, but he's not really actually anything. Ah, uh, so it is a Jufro. Is what you're saying? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, a, he's, I prefer, a, he's exactly what Kanye has been yelling about this whole. His, yeah. his, imagine if Kanye comes out like tomorrow morning on like the Breakfast Club. Like, listen, this whole the, tirade I've been having was because of Jack Harlow. Jack, God it was damn the Harlow. whole fucking reason I did this whole fucking two, <laughs> two and a half year thing. That's I, why I got I fat, got skinny. Uh, I never I'm gave, going to white rappers. I'll go Post Malone over Jack Harlow. I never gave him a chance either. He does. He most of his songs suck, but he has a few good ones. Okay. The rock star you've heard, rock star, obviously. Probably in passing. Na 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 na, rock star. Maybe popping pillies and I don't know the words, but you know it. That sounds familiar. I've been popping pillies and that's him, and I feel just like a rock. Oh like, yeah, I remember. I know it from. Rappers are obsessed with rock stars nowadays. I don't know what it is. Mm. I guess they're, especially they're, the white ones, you know. Yeah, they're stealing white culture. You're right about that. I told you. I mean, he also is white, though. I know, but it, it, there's a <laughs> lot, of, a lot of artists. They love rock stars, dude. Why wouldn't you? You know, eh. they were getting laid all over the place through the '60s and the '90s. Yeah, they're like 14 year old cousins. No. Women. Well, the king, between the king of rock. Between, oh, oh, he's dead. I remember. I, I remember that was back <clears throat> so long ago, like in the nineties. That like me and my family and everyone I knew, we were always like, "Yeah, we married his cousin." There was nothing about the age. <laughs> like we, no one cared. That we all watched the movie. No wait, one wait, cared. Wait. Jesse Lee Lewis. Elvis or didn't. Jerry Lee Lewis. Elvis didn't marry his cousin. What are you talking about? Well, I know, but she was like fourteen though. I was thinking of Jerry Lee Lewis. Uh, no, he did. Yeah, I think originally when they first hooked up, she was fourteen, I believe, and he was. The great balls of fire guy. Twenty seven. Great balls of fire. Yeah, he, he married his cousin that was like thirteen, and like I remember we watched that movie back in the day, and we really? were like, "My God, he married his cousin." No one huh. cared she was thirteen. <laughs> it was that he was married his family member. That's the thing. It was a different time. <laughs> Well, dude, by the way, that, <laughs> a different time. That, eat Fritos. that reminds me, though, of like, I don't think humans, I don't think we're supposed to live this long. Nah, definitely not. I think we're supposed to like die in our like 40s around, you know, it makes sense. Like we all hit puberty in these like early teenage years, right? Yeah. And then. That's when we're supposed to like Start, procreate. That's when we're supposed to like procreate with one another. Like some like fifteen like year 13. old <laughs> and fourteen year old are supposed to like hook up and make a baby, right? And then yeah. in our twenties, like we're fully developed, and then we're not, then which makes sense, right? Like apparently, we're, our brains are fully developed at twenty five on average, which would make sense because like if we're procreating, we're raising kids, we're raising kids and protecting them, so we're the most physically fit will be. Yeah, in our life. yeah, because like when you get older, you're like, oh well, you know, being a teenager was like like a temporary superpower. It's like yeah, because you're not supposed. That's the thing. You get older, you start to realize your thirties. It's like ah, you know, I was like way better shape in my twenties. It's kind of harder now. And then like in your forties, you're like, oh well, it looks like I gotta take these pills or I gotta get this surgery. I gotta do. It's like because you're supposed to die. Yeah, <laughs> you're supposed to be dead. Your your kids now are in their twenties having their kids, and then it's like a nice revolving door. Instead, we work these like insanely shitty jobs to get some money to buy shit we don't really need and to buy all these pills and medications to live a little longer because we all want to be immortal and we're afraid of our immortality. And then we live like these shitty lives that last thirty years longer. Yeah, miserable. I think, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, you know what? I think uh, every adult male should fuck uh, their 13 year old cousin. <laughs> 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 We're going to go back to. <laughs> <laughs>
but it, that, I don't know. That's I think that's something that's not going to change because I think people who are like insanely rich and like the ones who are truly in power are also afraid of immortality, and they realize that they need this slave labor from us and all the working people to like possibly gather more information and equipment to gain immortality for themselves. Yeah. That's that's my big conspiracy theory. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah, why not? I think it'll come in the form of uh like technology. Yeah, it's like I think uh, I think we're uh, the next evolution of humans will be like computers and that'll be like thought of as life forms yeah i think the next evolution for humans is finding out not to replicate their our consciousness but to actually find a way to store our consciousness our actual minds right yeah in a in a being that like is not just this squishy human body that yes dies. very strong can't die can't get diseases doesn't have emotions Exactly. Just can't die. A and perfect specimen. And you can eliminate the emotions of pain and grief. And uh, this is coming from Exerbia, uh, a YouTuber I watch, but misery. <laughs> uh, it just eliminate. All- Dude, that's why I hate when people like they'll they'll have. I'll see this on YouTube videos and go like, what if you could have everything you ever wanted? But in reality, you wouldn't want that because at one point you'd get bored. It's like, no, no, you wouldn't. Oh, no, if you, I would. <laughs> if you had, because not in a simplistic, like, no, I would never get bored with being super rich and having all this pussy. And no, 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 you literally wouldn't because in essence, if you're getting everything you wanted, then you will never have the feeling of boredom because that's not something you wanted. You, you So it's, yeah. it's a mute point. If you had everything you wanted, then you have everything you wanted. There's no if fans or butts about it there's no argument yeah but people who do get insanely successful and rich like to say that to sound cool that's another thing like, oh, it's not all about the money man you realize that it's like yeah it is you you're just it's like you're just trying to sound different then throw it all <laughs> then burn it all and become yeah homeless. yeah, yeah that can be your mansion bitch <laughs> fucking jim jim carrey is like the episode like the fucking poster boy it's oh. like oh he's just he's so deep he get, it's like uh no, he's an actor. He's an, he's an actor. He's, an <laughs> he's actor. a really good actor. <laughs> it's unreal. It's like, oh, he really cares. It's like, all right. It's like he doesn't. He knows that because he said stuff like about that. Like, oh, you know, you it's know, serial man. It's like, dude, it's, what's this all for? It, it's easy to say money doesn't matter after you have all the money. Yeah, after you don't need it anymore. Yeah, dude. Like, come on. He's like getting out of the matrix. I'm like, the matrix is gay. It's like, yeah, you're not in it. It's like <laughs> <laughs> he just got so in depth with his uh, character, like he literally crashed a car. He's like he had a, he bumped it into a wall <laughs> while the camera was rolling on him. Like, it's, like com- he does his own stunts, man. Oh my! Well, that's he actually climbs I, a building with a cable, dude. Also, the Jackie Chan shit, and even the fucking Tom Cruise shit is crazy, though. Oh, the Tom Cruise. I mean, he has a pilot's license. That's insane. Do you know he that flies his own fucking scenes. He was on the outside of a flying plane. Yeah. It's insane. Ins- I've, I've seen the... That guy's actually insane. He might be... Yeah, he's actually insane. Like, he's cool. Like, that shit that he's done is like, all right, I believe that. But he's also not going around being like... At least not that I've seen. Being like what Jim Carrey's doing. No, he just goes around he's just going... just jumping on couches. Believe my saying, crazy church. <laughs> yeah, he's just saying like antidepressants don't work and... You know, Which he might be right. Goes on. I think he's right about that. He might so, be right. <laughs> I remember back when he was saying it, I was like, that sounds right. And then time has gone on. Everyone I know that was on antidepressants in real life that I know either got off of them or it's still on them and it's not working. So I'm like, all right. Dude, for my nerve pain, they gave me so many different like types of antidepressants. Why? Because because apparently there's a lot of antidepressants. They're just throwing those out, dude. They, well, in They're a way, just shoveling them out to everybody. In a way, they they were throwing them out because these technically, uh, there was like a few of them. Um, I wonder if Topamax was one that wasn't antidepressant, but that was definitely one I was on. I have a list. Of, hold on, I have a list of all that, dude. Let me show you this litany. I don't know if all these, but oh, before I get the list, Topa. Uh, no, did I delete the? I might have. There was also another name for it because Topamax is like, I think the brand name, Topamax. Oh, uh, it's not like the actual. Oh, to- Toparamat. 
Copa. I'm pronouncing that. Oh, yeah. List of medications. Bam. Got it. All right. Before I say this, though. So apparently some of, I mean, it seems like a lot, but some of the drugs that are used for nerve pain at one point were an antidepressant, but they realized uh, that I guess they, it wasn't working or maybe it was working as antidepressant, but people also found out that it helps with nerve pain. So now we, pres- so basically they, my doctors would go. So now we just, we prescribe this for people with nerve pain too, because we realize that it also helps with that. Da, 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 da. And in my mind, I'm like, I feel like you're just throwing away drugs that didn't work for antidepression. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, I fucking was on uh Topa Ramat. Uh Emma, who the fuck is who's this? Oh shit, I got an email from her. Nice. Alright. Am alright, alright, relax. Who the fuck's that? Ah, uh, just some fucking work shit. Am it tre amitripitalin, <laughs> HCL, methylprezidolone, deloxetin, na- nabumeton, flutazone. I think that was for my nose. Yeah, uh, fluticazone or whatever. Yeah, that was when I went to the ENT for like the the headaches because I was like, "Fuck it, I'll try anything." To- yeah, that's the shit that like you sniff it and like your nose opens up more than it's ever been open, and you're like, <laughs> 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 "I lo- no longer have a deviated septum." Yeah, it's like this. What it, I took that shit once. Um. Oh, dude. By the way, when I went to that doctor. He did like this three prong check because like he's ear, nose, and throat. So he checked my ears. He checked my throat. He's he's then on my nose. He goes, all right, I'm gonna pump this liquid in your nostrils, and it's gonna burn for a little for a little bit. But you know, don't worry, it'll go away. I was expect, and this was like at the height of me dealing with these tension headaches, right? So I was like, yeah, whatever, man. I'm dealing like I got these fucking headaches, and my head's always blaring. Whatever. He pumps this stuff, Jim. <laughs> I thought my brain. I thought he. Th- Poured acid on my brow. I was like, ah! I do my whole body just tense. I thought my veins were gonna pop out on my fucking forearm. It was crazy. Oh shit, my headphones popped out. It was such a, it was such an insane, like cold and hot pain. I couldn't even describe it. It was electric. Mm. I'm electric, my electric. Sp- All right, um, delostatrodine, um, propranol. Gabapentin, which I'm currently actually on now post surgery, but I will soon be off that. Meloxicam, cyclobenzaphrine, and then yeah, no, that's the no, I have that shit. What's that one for? I forget. That's muscle relaxer. Ah, oh, by the I way, I have that for my back, but it 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 gives me constipation, so I only take it when I really need it. Let me tell you something. So I uh-huh. I have a thing of muscle relaxers and some oxys for like from the post surgery shit. Yeah. Let me tell you how much I love muscle relax. <laughs> I, if there was ever a pill I'll be addicted to. Dude, I'll like if I'm like, oh, I'm having a little trouble sleeping. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Because they make you so tired, which is nice. It's, they're so good. And it really helped. Dude, when I when I got it prescribed, my back was so fucking... Like, my muscles were, t- like, pushing on my disc so hard. And um, one I took, like, two of them, I think. And I was, dude, that's nice to see. But I have a fucking ass. I love them. Um, but they constipate the shit out of me, though. They didn't do that to me, but I think that's because my diet's so good now that it's just like a fucking ice cream machine that actually works at McDonald's. <laughs> um, Norgestic Forte. I think that's Neurotech. Um, How many yeah. pills you on, motherfucker? I was on a lot of stuff because nothing was working. I was like, a gotcha. gu- I felt like a guinea pig. It was like when I was young. Yeah, you had one of those um, like, like weekly square things. Where it's like Monday, you have 18 pills. <laughs> Tuesday, you got 37. That's a steroid. Yeah, I was on that a few times. Six, uh, it was six pills one day, then the next was five, then four, three. That was for anti. That's an anti-inflammatory steroid. At least the ones that I've taken in the past. What was it like? Cortisone or whatever. It, it it's cool because it does like work a little bit, like for a short amount of time. What was it? Cortisone. No, I thought cortisone was a topical cream. Because I have a steroid. I thought they had shots, cortisone shots. Were oh, you know, they do. They have sh- I've, I've had uh, ster- uh, epidural steroid injections. I've had different types. I've had, like, muscle, like, it was, like, pinpoint muscle, like, relaxation. And, dude, I've had injections where, like, I fucking, like, became so lightheaded because I, I think it was just more nerves than anything. Especially, like, when there's a needle have going. Have you ever passed out? Never passed out, but uh. twice... One time, oh, actually, no, when I was really younger and dealing with the back stuff, I did fall 
I was like, can I, can I just go to the bathroom? And they're like, yeah, yeah you're all right. I'm like, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm good. Good. Right before I got to the door where I would have been safe and home base, I just <laughs> fall. And they're like, oh, my God. Ah! And I'm like, oh, no, don't make a scene. He's like, what can we? Uh, we hold on. Susie, you, you still have leftover bread from lunch in the refrigerator. Go get it. I'm like, I don't want Susie's fucking break room lunch. Uh. Like, what the fuck? And they, I got to admit, though, they gave me a piece of a nice piece of white bread and some Coca-Cola. I was like fine after that. Uh, that was years ago. Ago. But then I did do it twice recently within the past year. Uh, the f- the first one was not that big of a deal. They were doing like this. Sh- oh, trigger. I think it's trigger point injection. I think that's what it is for my traps for the tension headaches. And the doctor right before putting it in, he goes, by the way, I want to let you know that um, usually like young, healthy adults, they usually like get really lightheaded for these injections. And in my mind, I'm like, why would that happen to the like the young and the healthy? Why, I was, yeah, <laughs> I think he was just trying to like hand me up, like, "Hey, you a little bitch." <laughs> but <laughs> so he gave me the injection, and I literally got like light. I was like, Whew. I was I sat up, and I'm like, "He's like, you're right." I'm like, "Yeah, just yeah, no, you're you're right. I got light He's like, "All right, hold on, we'll, we'll get you something." He comes back with like one of those little square like for Halloween handout packs of Skittles. Mm. And I'm like, all right. So I fucking just shot it all those back and I was okay after a couple minutes. The other one, I got mad at my doctor and it wasn't anything he did. So he gave me the, uh, I think these were when he was doing the epidural steroid injections in my serve in my, in my neck. Right. Which is kind of freaky. Like the way the, so the way the injection works is they stick the needle in and then the doctor sees an image on the like his computer or his screen or whatever, right? Mm. And the image shows like where the needle is, and then the image basically tells him like, "All right, you can go deeper." So you, he goes deeper more, and then another image pops up saying, "All right, no, you can go deeper." So like in my mind, I'm like, "Well, what's stopping you from like? What happens if like you go too deep and then the image shows like, oh, you what you fucked up there?" <laughs> <laughs> right, right, yeah, right, right. So so like that's already freaking me out, but. Part of me is like, fuck it. He's a doctor. He knows he do. So he injects me and everything. I get so lightheaded, not to the point I'm going to pass out, but that point where like you get those like lightheaded sweats. Yes, and then is. also I immediately, immediately have to take a shit. Like I <laughs> am going to shit. So he's like, are you all right? I'm like, I, yeah, I just, re- I just really want to go to, the- and this is all like me while I'm lying down. I just, and like a weird position, the way you're lying down these things, when, when it's the neck, like ma- imagine lying down in your bed, but having like six pillows, like propping up just your chest and head and your head's in a hole. He's like, you're okay. I'm like, I just really want to go to the bathroom. He's like, all right, uh, we're going to get you down. Don't worry. And he's like, all right, do you need anything? He's like, I really want to go to the bathroom like, i was like i was like yeah he's all right, all right we'll get and like i like fucking like rushed to the bathroom and just immediately when i got in there just <laughs> and then he he that my doctor would come by like every minute and knock on you're all right in there oh my god when he wants to make sure i didn't pass out and like hit my head or whatever you know? right right well, and, you but you just want some peace and quiet i, yeah, I just want to <laughs> shit dude i just want to <laughs> shit and play backgammon on my phone like i <laughs> And, and then and then I and then I'm just like, all right, let me get out of here quick, or else they're gonna think I passed out and died. So now I just blew up the bathroom. And <laughs> this, of course, in every like in most like awesome doctor offices, just the most beautiful young nurses. And, oh my, and now it's, I'm yeah, known, <laughs> and I'm known now as the guy who just blew up the bathroom. So it's oh, like <laughs> count that ticket out. Oh my god! <laughs> but yeah. These are just some of the medical fucking stories I have. Oh, yeah. I had a, a, something similar to that where I had a shot in my mouth for like a cavity. Like it was like a, I think like an antibacterial one or something. Mm. And I had a similar thing where they're like, all right, you're going to get really lightheaded. They shoot and I start having a panic attack. Like I get lightheaded. I get shaky and sweaty. And uh, the lady, this nurse comes in and she's like rubbing my back She's like, have you ever had panic attacks before? I was like, yeah, but not in like a few years. And she's like, oh, well, you should really look into some anxiety medicine. <laughs> I'm like, lady, you just shot me. With something. Like, <laughs> like, I'm not just randomly having a panic attack. Like, you put something in my body. That's why I didn't say that. But, um, but this is where I learned I'm sexist and racist. Um, oh my god. 
and I'm okay with it. I'm totally like I've come to terms with it. Um, <laughs> so they give me this, they give me this numbing thing. It doesn't after give that. you an out. Like, oh, okay, it's cool. I was getting like a root canal, and they give me this like numbing thing. And uh, so the nurse, they give me the numbing shots, and then they're like, "All right, your doctor will be in in a few minutes." And so all of a sudden, the doctor comes in, and it's it's this like white lady, that's like a hard forty, like looks like. Like I can't, I don't, I can't describe this lady to you in the way that I need to. But if you, I promise, Whitey, if you had seen this lady, you would have been like, that, that, that's the, that's the lady doing my ruka now. Like she looked like a random lady from off the street. Like this did not look like a doctor. <laughs> this looked like like a someone who she works came at CVS. in with running shorts. <laughs> yeah, it's like an old fat CVS manager. Oh my and, god, uh, she she came in with the red polo. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. In the, I'm in the tag. I'm panicking, dude. I'm sitting there. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, dude, I like, I'm starting to have a panic attack again. I'm like, I, I don't think I want this lady. Like, she doesn't look like she's, she looks new. Like, this is like, she went to college late, became a doctor late in life, and like, I'm her first. And then she goes, she gives me this, uh, like, IV. And then she goes, all right, your doctor will be. And I was like, oh, thank God. Doctor <laughs> walks in. It's this like 40-year-old Asian guy. I was like, yes. <laughs> I've never felt like I was so happy. And I was like, dude, I just, I for real like had a sexist like moment. Like where I was like, I totally like stereotyped this lady and was like, but I was right. But still, I'm like, I was right. not good to have. But when it comes to something with your health or your life or your well-being, it's like, Dude, I was really going through it. I was like, "Fuck, man!" This yeah, when it comes me up. when it comes to your well being, you definitely don't want a woman. <laughs> Apparently, no, but not just for like a surgical thing, you know. And even if it was a if it was a younger looking woman or a healthier looking woman or like I don't know, you're I, acting I don't know like if you were having a kidney removed halfway during the surgery, she's gonna be like, "I can't believe Mike broke up on me." Know, just starts Whitey, pounding the But why do you didn't see this lady? Like I, I'm telling you, if you saw this lady, you would be like, "Not all women are look homeless." Surgeon. It's just this one lady, dude. <laughs> You're like, wait, there's no. I, just my detector was on. I was like, I knew I could sense she wasn't a surgeon. <laughs> like there was something in me where I was like, "There's no way." And if there is, I'm walking out of here. <laughs> This lady looks like she doesn't know and doesn't care. Dude, uh, <laughs> so I did I ever tell you the, the story about my, my, me getting my wisdom tooth removed? I don't think so, maybe. So I've had two teeth removed. Sadly, I had one tooth removed because I did have a root canal. But then also the crown came out at one point and I never like put it back. And the then great I, Brian Regan jokes. <laughs> what, what's that? That's a great Brian Regan joke too. Is it really? And you're like, oh, anytime you tell someone uh, you got your wisdom teeth removed, there's always they always have to one up you. There's always that guy. Oh, I had all four removed, and two <laughs> of them were impacted. <laughs> I think I remember that joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, that made me think of that. Um, but I did have four removed, and two of mine were impacted. <laughs> well, no. Luckily, I only had one removed. <laughs> and um, apparently, uh, my uh, dentist said. So some people don't have their top wisdom teeth, and people apparently on average who don't have their top wisdom teeth have a higher IQ. I but they do, don't have their top? They don't have their top wisdom teeth. Well, I'm a dummy then. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh, I guess I'm retarded. Yeah. <laughs> uh, why'd, you, why'd you tell me that information, jackass? <laughs> but um, my bottom right one had to be removed. Well, my bottom right molar had to be removed because my crown fell out, and I didn't say anything. I was like, ah, eh, fuck it. I'll just fucking, this tooth is pretty sharp now after the root canal. Fuck it. And then like that eventually got infected and the doctor's like, well, yeah, you like, when did the crown, like, oh, the girl, the, the girl goes, when did the crown fall? Out? I'm like, oh, I don't really remember. And then my dentist comes in. He's like, James, when did the crown come out? And I go like six months ago. He's like, ah. Thank you for being honest. And then he looks at my teeth. He's like, yeah, dude, you wore this fucking down. We got to remove your tooth now. I'm like, oh, sorry. So <laughs> that got removed. That wasn't the big, like, it's, all right. It's part of like the wisdom tooth story. So the way they fucking remove this shit is like, basically they numb you up and the doctor gets like a pick basically and jams it in there until he poof, fractures and shatters the tooth. That's how, hmm. and then they just pull it out in pieces. So he did that to my molar and it just was a lot of pressure because everything was numb. 
and whatever. Like, you know, he's like, you're all right. I'm like, oh, so the same thing had to happen to my wisdom tooth. The difference is this molar was not the, it was on the same side as the wisdom tooth, but it wasn't the one right next to the wisdom tooth. It was one closer to the front of my mouth. So it was clear as day. You could see it, sunny skies, no clouds, birds are chirping. It's already got a root canal. So there's a hollow, it's hollow, you know, easy peasy, snap it and like fractures and pull it out. My wisdom tooth, on the other hand, Jim, the reason this had to be pulled out is, you know, what? like make a fist, right? Just make a fist with your hand. Yeah. Now, just put your fist up as if, like, it's just pointing, like, you know, you're doing, like, the you know, white power or black power, like, thing, right? Yeah. Now, move your forearm 90 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> my wisdom tooth was hitting my back molar in that direction. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, I, and, and then they're also telling me that there's a nerve where, like, that is wrapped close to the wisdom tooth that if that gets hit... You know, we could fuck your li- right. your life up. So, you know, oh, sign this sure. waiver. So I'm like, okay. So they numb me up just like they did the molar one. Same thing. Gets the pickaxe to this perfectly healthy tooth. Just it's coming in in a bad way where it's going to impact my other. This guy is push. Like, oh, yeah, his yeah. buttons are popping off his fucking medical jet. Ja- like shirt and i can yeah, see in there <laughs> i can see his jewish chest his chest hair his fucking star david necklace is about to pop out he is he might as well have one leg on the medical chair that i'm sitting <laughs> he's yeah, pushing course. so hard and i'm just like i'm just fucking dying he's like all right hold on and then the nurse fucking puts more novocaine or whatever the numbing thing they had that day to numb me up even more and oh by the way when they first do the numbing stuff, they're like, all right, we'll come back like in a few minutes when it like it sets. But when they're doing the operation and they stop and numb me up more, they just go back to the operation. They don't wait a couple <laughs> minutes for it to set in. I'm like, hey, bro, like what the I thought you had to wait a minute. So it and it just he was just pushing, 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 and now I'm starting to feel like an electric shock pain. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then all I hear is I'm like, fuck it on. And that was it. My wisdom tooth just shattered. And now he could just pull it to, you know, pull all the pieces out. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's that sounds like something out of a fucking nightmare. It was horrifying. It um, sucked. You know what I was thinking as they were taking my wisdom teeth out? What's up? Uh, nothing. <laughs> oh, were you were you knocked I out? Was out cold. Oh brother. my god! <laughs> <laughs> but I, it's, it's, here's the thing. I would have cho- if they gave me the choice. I would have chosen to have gone out, but they didn't even give me the choice because they had to take all four out and two of them were like sideways. <laughs> they gave me the choice, and I'm such a. Why didn't you take it? That's my question. Because I want to know what's Fuck going. Fuck your mother. I- <laughs> <laughs> I want people always like oh well, some people don't wake up it's like good yeah I'd rather not wake up than be <laughs> go through that nightmare I just want to make sure everything's going right <laughs> uh, I'll let the maybe, surgeon fucking figure that out maybe that's why in my short amount of times on planes I can't sleep on planes because I, I think part of the or the main part of the pl- me being afraid of planes oh, is takes you back. being out of control of things mm. and if I'm asleep I'm 100% not in control of things so, oh, technically, so you want to be awake if it goes down. Yeah, technically in my subconscious retarded brain, I think, oh, if this plane's going down, I might be able to figure out a way to get out of it. I know what you mean. <laughs> so would you would you hate it if you died in your sleep? Um I think about that. I had like, a fear I wanna of that. be a, I wanna be aware that I'm dying when I die. I, I, I feel like if death is gonna come for me, I it owes me the I should at least be like conscious and know I'm dying. I would suck to just die and I'm never, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I, when I was younger, I actually had a fear of dying in my sleep that I, I couldn't sleep. Like, oh my God. I like would be up until two, three in the morning until my body is just like, oh, we got to go to sleep, bro. Cause I was so <laughs> afraid of dying in my sleep. Terrifying. It was, yeah, yeah, dude. My brain has played so many fucking tricks on me through the years. Um, ah, would I rather die in my sleep? I'm kind of like with you. I want to know like when I'm dying, but like it's, there's so many, like there's so many like factors to that. Like one, if there's an afterlife, I guess I kind of don't care. Right. Cause either way you'll go to it. So, uh, the second is, you know, 
if I die while awake, it's like, how am I dying? Like if, if someone was like, all right, you can die in your sleep or we can have chimpanzees like rip your dick off <laughs> <laughs> and, fucking, and eat you a lot and like just oh, yeah. banging your head on the pavement until your brain splits. It's like, eh, man, die in my sleep, die in my sleep. How do I die in my sleep? <laughs> I know that's, that's rough. So there's a lot I, of factors. To I've heard people say that, though, like they'd rather just die in their sleep. And to me, I'm like, that sounds horrible to not even know. You just you just go to bed one day and you're just gone for you never wake up. You never knew you died. You just died without knowing it. True. But I also guess That's like terrifying. if you're like, say, in your 90s and you're just like, I mean, it's just like, oh, when's he going to go? I'll talk to you tomorrow, Carol. <laughs> tomorrow never came. Well, yeah, and I never knew it never came, so. Yeah, but at least you didn't have to see Carol again. Oh, my God, Carol and her stupid dog. <laughs> I saw a dead dog yesterday. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> I hit Terrible. a bird with my car today. Nice. <laughs> Not to one-up you or anything, but. Dink. Dude, he tried. I, I, I drive fast. I know I drive fast. So I guess on this road, he's used to cars driving like 10 miles over the speed limit. So he thought he could make it across the street, not knowing I was going like 50 miles over the yeah, speed limit. Bang. And just boom, over on the hood, over the windshield, over the roof of the car. Just And I'm like, oh, no, dude. No. But, dude, it's the second bird on this road I've hit with my car. The first one, I was really upset, like sad. The second one, I was like, dude, come on. I was yeah, like, yeah, aiming for me. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> like, what are you doing here, man? Come on. They'll learn. <laughs> They'll learn. <laughs> that, that'll teach them. Yeah, I fucking, I, I, I saw like a cop on the side of the road and I was driving home. Well, wait, what did you, you see with the dog, though? Yeah, so the co- I saw a cop on the side of the road, and he was in front of a truck pulled oh, over on the side. Oh, no. And I was like, why is the cop in front of the oh. truck? And then I, I, it was like a golden retriever laying on a blanket. Oh, it, looked, the it wasn't moving. Most American dog of all time. I know, and there was like blood on the road, and I was like, <gasps> oh, my God. I think that cop should I felt have, so bad. The cop should have pulled out his gun and shot that guy in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, it'll be one last asshole on the road. All right. Get him out of here. That sucks. I mean, no matter what, you know that owner's blaming himself, though, because if the dog got out, he's like... No, no, he's not. No, he's not. You want to know why? Because there's a chance he's not. You want to know why? Because I remember... I was, it was nighttime, dude. It was nighttime on a fucking Jersey highway. I, and I remember this to this fucking day. I fucking see a dog. It was so dark. I, I saw this dog running par- parallel, but on the opposite, like running opposite of traffic on the highway on the shoulder, right? And yeah. it was, even though it was a pretty, it's a major highway, but there's houses at this part of the road that are literally right on the highway. And the dog's running on the shoulder opposite of me. And I see this and I'm like, holy shit. So I pull over, immediately stop my car. I see the guy owner at the doorstep of his house. And then I guess his wife halfway down the front lawn. And I roll down my window. You want to know the first thing this the first thing this cunt says? Fucking <laughs> cunt to this day. To, she go comes running towards my car, going, "Did you hit my dog?" Oh like, my god! I'm like, "No, lady, he's running that way. <laughs> Fucking go get him!" Like, like did I, that's the first thing you say. I'm trying did to. I hit your dog as if I did something wrong that's because on I was the highway. It was on the highway. I just ripped my. I just ripped my headphones. It was on the highway i was oh. to this day and then i i'm mad and i wasn't even there i so i said no lee he's running that way go get him i then put my car in drive and right before i drive i want to see if the husband's gonna act as if like i'm doing something wrong he just looked like confused because he basically knows my wife's a cunt but i cannot yell uh. at this guy i can i cannot say that to this guy right now or else like she's gonna come back at me and then her dog's definitely gonna die yeah. <laughs> I drove off. I, I never uh, heard anything in the news, so I'm assuming they finally got their dog. But, oh, what a cool Unreal. Dog. It's unreal. What a cunt. That's the type of person who, you know, lets their dog on the highway. <laughs> <laughs> did you no hit, self-accountability. <laughs> did you hit my dog? It's like, no, lady. 
No, but the other yeah. guy's going to hit it if you don't fucking... Yeah, yeah, someone else is. Train him and not just have him running on the front lawn of a highway. <laughs> <laughs> unreal. That's insane. Yeah, that is unreal. <laughs> As, I'd like, be fuming. You know what? Yeah, yeah, I did hit your dog. Like, uh, yeah, because you know I what I was have. doing? I was driving on the highway where <laughs> yeah. cars are allowed. You know what's not allowed? A dog. <laughs> Unreal. That was, like, that was like when that Twitch streamer, like, hit that dog. Remember that we watched a while back? Dude, I, I got it. And people in the comments were like, fucking that stupid idiot was looking at her phone. It's like, for, well, first off, the dog shouldn't be on the fucking road. That's like, <laughs> I don't care what she's looking at. The dog should not be on the road without it. Like, and how do they know that the dog well? wasn't on his phone? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a Christopher Titus joke. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it a courtesy. A That's little, his uh, opening joke. <laughs> oh my god, that guy sucks, dude. <laughs> the other day, I hit, oh coming in today, I hit a dog uh, with my car, but th- th- he was on his phone. <laughs> he, was, he was texting, but his would be more polished. That's the thing. He he thinks of a stupid joke and then polishes it up thinking like that's going to make it better. It's like, no, 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 no. You're just making a bad joke more professional yeah. and official. It's special would be named dog on the phone or something. <laughs> and then and he, he opens with it. <laughs> <laughs> that guy stinks, dude. That was bad, dude. That was bad. That's not even someone where I'm like, oh, I'll give them another. I'm like, I'll never, ever. <laughs> I know what that is. And I, I hate gave it. it a second chance because I was like, "What am I not? Did I just see a bad special? And like, what am I not getting? You know?" Yeah. What other? W- what one did you watch? Was the one back in the day? It was that one. I I think Love and Evil, but it was like spelled E V O L. I guess because it's love backwards. Hmm. I'm gonna look up current stand up. See if I. Uh... Cause you were right. Oh, dude, Shane Gillis had a funny thing where he called uh, Joe DeRosa the worms from Men in Black all grown up. <laughs> <laughs> that reminded me of the Patrice Jim Norton thing. I was like, that's uh, so worm. true. That's so true. He does look like that. Yeah, I love when they go back and forth, man. Jesus. So Dave Chappelle's good. Louis C.K.'s great. Bill Burr's great. Pete Holmes is actually he's he's funny. I mean, like. He seems like yeah, I like to talk Holmes. to. Yeah. The comedy god is about to show another home run special. Handle- I know George Carlin would be proud. I like one and a half to two specials from Hannibal Burris. Can you believe that? What? That someone wrote that? What? Somebody wrote, The comedy god is about to show another home run special. I know no, George wait, Carlin wait, wait. would be proud. Wait, 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 wait. Is this on his... That- I swear to God. No, it's not. I don't believe <laughs> yeah, you. I- I know George Carlin would be proud. I'm I'm hurt. This hurts me even more because you know how we were saying we wonder who's like if anyone's actually into this guy. Now it's like I forgot about the comments. Yeah, now you like. Oh, do you think like maybe they're people like, are, think the this guy's the new Carlin? The cable oh, with Files oh Home God, Internet. I got a commercial playing. It won't stop. Um, do you think like their bot comments are like that's a legit comment? That could be a bot comment, because that's insane. <laughs> that is insane. But hey, I mean, comedy's is it objective or subjective? It's objective. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you get mad that I asked that? I know, I know. It's just... I'm sorry. I didn't, I'm really, like, I didn't know. It's because it's a debate I've had in my head for years, and I'm mad at the side of my head that says it's subjective, so... So it's objective with an O. I think it is, yeah. I know, I don't know. I think it's subjective. I think if you to. fart in an elevator in like any country across the planet, people are going to laugh. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, oh, no, 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 buddy, buddy, buddy. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Don't buddy me. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm saying what's the, the common like phrase? Oh, oh, objective means it's like universally true. No matter. It, oh, so and subjective. Subjective means it, mean it's from person according to person. person. Okay, perspective. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I mean. Sorry, I, I didn't. I didn't know you. Were I didn't, that, it so. wasn't like an actual. Like, hey, so what do you? I think? thought you were asking me why I think comedy was subjective. Yes, I yes. didn't know you were asking what the definition of the word was. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I used to mix those up though when I was younger. Um. But Roy, now I, I know. 
what's the other comedian? Current comedian Roy Scovel. I've seen him. Zach but Elton. what about that Matt Reif guy that's popping off? Have you? I haven't watched that guy yet. Matt Reif. He like blew up off TikTok and he's like really big. I feel like I've seen this guy before. He Me looks, too. I just... He looks like he was manufactured in like a lab. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't does. do a great job. No. <laughs> like, they're like, oh, you know what also makes a guy look good? Like, chiseled this and, like, square this. And it's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, it came out and it's like, ah, oh, fuck. He oh. looks gay, kind of. <laughs> Does he? I guess. I don't know. Yeah. He's got that, like, metrosexual kind of look, if that's even a word still. He looks like if Pete Davidson had plastic surgery. Yeah, Pete Davidson was like better looking. I don't know. Who, I don't know who this is, but I think I might have saw him once or twice. I don't know who he is though. Oh yeah, he does look like he does gay porn. I can see that. Yeah, I've he seen. Lo- a, doesn't he look gay? I've seen so much gay porn that I've definitely seen people that look like this. Like you, you ever see someone who and you can tell they're gay just by looking at them, like almost like genetically they look I mean, gay not really unless it's like some dude with like fucking six dicks in him <laughs> no i mean like you ever seen like a face where like you're like that guy's gay no but you've said this before about that dude <laughs> on joe rogan's podcast oh yeah tony hinchcliffe yeah you've said that about him before yeah i've seen it like i remember back in the day on like the real world like before I would learn who the gay guy was, I could always tell. And it wasn't just because it was dressed. <laughs> like, I could, like, see the They literally the tell you who the gay guy is going to be, though. It's, like, right after they bring in I the know. black guy, and then it's the gay guy, and then it's this but guy. But you know what I mean. There's a, sometimes someone just has a gay look. I think if I think if someone's born <laughs> gay, then maybe there's something else in the genetics that, like, has something to do with their looks. You think there's, like, a chromosome or something? <laughs> Well, yeah, right? Because it is, I mean, I believe people are born gay. I don't think it's a choice, so. True. Uh, all right. So you think, oh, okay. So like people are, who are born gay, there's probably also like it's some like a gene. fundamental, um, f- maybe facial feature also that comes along with that. Yeah. They got like weird eyes and flat face. <laughs> so basically kind of <laughs> like people who have a. Uh, What's it called? Down syndrome, where they all usually look Asian. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying that gay people usually have a flat face. I yeah. I know this sounds like I'm being like stupid on part, but like I swear to God, I believe this. That, well, that's what makes it sound <laughs> more stupid. I don't know. You could you could be. Right. I don't fucking know, dude. Like you know, you ever see like James Charles? Who? James Charles. Um, James Charles. Oh well, well, no, he's like he's literally wearing no, I know. makeup. But like, take that out. Of and I let. Well, I can't because every picture of him is white. All right, James, you can find ones without. I, yeah, I didn't know I had to look without. And he looks gay. Makeup. He, well, <laughs> like I feel like when this guy was like five, his parents were like, eh, "Well, he's a little." He's doing. Lot, he's doing person. faces, you know, and his and like his eye. You have a picture of him five at a cookout before no makeup, and you're like, this kid's gay. Five? <laughs> like years old? <laughs> yeah. And like literally go, that kid's going to be a fat. Like, <laughs> yeah, like everyone knew. <laughs> no, because here's a picture like of him with isn't... glasses. He's got an earring on. He's, he, it's the way he does it. Every picture has his like lips all pucked out. It's not I helping. know. He's like, hey, going to suck your dick. <sighs> Gotta admit though, I will say this. I will say this. With yeah. all with all my straightness, I will say this. This James Charles guy, he looks like he sucks a mean dick. <laughs> I mean he definitely he definitely does. <laughs> he looks like if you listen, man, if you're a gay guy or a guy who's on the fence and you want to get your dick sucked, this guy looks like he's gonna fucking do you dirty. <laughs> yeah, he's like as gay as the day is long. Like this <laughs> This guy is like, if you're looking for a gay dude, he's the one. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Like if you if you're gay and you you get James Charles, and you're like bringing him to, and like your family's okay with it, like they're so like, like totally supportive. You're like, look at what I got. They're gonna be like, we're so happy for you. And then they're gonna talk. Did you see who he got? I know he's like, he's maid. clean. He smells nice. Like he has a maid. Great like, shape. <laughs> I, I want to fuck him. Let's fuck him. Let's fuck James. <laughs> let's get let's get uh, James Charles on the let's see James Charles email. <laughs> <laughs> 
we'll get James Charles on the uh, podcast and we'll just uh, we'll let him know. Hey, uh, when we hit forty and we're just ready to just become gay and open and not in the closet anymore, uh, you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't that guy get like in trouble or something? Yeah, he's been in a bunch of fucking. But is that all like? Bullshit, gay YouTube yeah, drama yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, it's not yes. real. He said, she said. Yeah. It was from that other one that's even gayer than this guy. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, it's like, not trans, but like the next step. Jeffree Star. Yes. Uh, not. I trans, remember when I first saw it. <laughs> Isn't the next step I, like literally cutting off your dick? No, I mean the step before trans. Drag queen? Yeah. Like, Jeffree Star isn't trans, but he, like, dresses like a girl. Ah, uh, he doesn't have his email like like linked drag. to his YouTube channel. I really want... Ah, jeez, I just saw a current picture of James Charles on his Twitter. Never mind. I don't know if I can do better. <laughs> Jeffree Star is a fucking creep, dude. Why? What did Jeffree Star... Jeff... He just looks like he sacrifices babies. <laughs> he does kind of have that Marilyn Manson kind of thing, right? Yeah, he's creepy. Like, well, he's what's like up, white. everybody? Oh, my he's God. Like... I just went up to his, onto his channel, and it was <laughs> video fucking skin. That was like a... Uh, what's it called? A jump scare. He's like, he's like as white as they come. He's like peak white person. Um, What does Jeffree Star do? He owns like a... He does makeup, right? He's a billionaire, yeah. A billionaire? No way. Yeah, he owns a makeup company that like Good went huge. Copy. Oh, so then that drama's bullshit. But he was a YouTuber before. I think he like started as like just a big YouTuber millionaire, and then he like invested in yeah, two hundred million company. dollars, dude, crushing it. And what was the other guy's name? James Charles Net Worth. Da, 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 da. Oh, you know what drama? I think that Jam- 22 mil. Oh, these guys are fucking crushing it. Dude, fuck it. I'm going to start sucking dick. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Like, when people, well, how much would you suck dick for? Like, $1,000 at this point. <laughs> like, what are we doing here? Like, suck your dick just to fucking sleep over for a night. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that James Charles, dude, and this is this is why I like this YouTube drama shit is fucking bullshit because I'm over here. I think. But I think he got in trouble also at one point because, like, a straight guy, like supposedly a straight guy slept with him. And like the straight guy almost felt like he was like, what's that word that Ed used? Co- coerced into sleeping yeah. with him. So That's like, just a gay, a gay guy in the closet just so, trying to like save face. So then, so then people were like, I can't believe. No would- straight guy gets tricked into fucking a dude. Okay. Tricked. I'm sick of this fucking storyline. <laughs> oh, I'm straight and he, he groomed me. It's like, dude. No, I was I, drunk. I, you get, guess what? I'm straight. You could never groom me into fucking a guy. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. You can bribe me. Fucking yeah, you can bribe. Oh, fifty k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're not tricking me. Yeah, it's into not thinking I'm gay. <laughs> you're gonna have even to if you pay me, I'm gonna be like, drinks. all right. I'll, yeah, I'm gonna drink a lot, and I'll be like, all right. This is definitely for the money. This is gonna hurt, but just pretend I'll take it, it to the grave. Let's but. pretend it's a prostate exam <laughs> <laughs> with a way bigger finger. <laughs> this is gonna make you lightheaded. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to take a shit afterwards yeah. or during. It's like, oh god. Oh, dude, I would be like, yeah. That's the thing. That's another thing with the whole gay thing. Like, I to be a bottom. Like, I, like, how do you? Not a million years. My asshole just like there's just no <laughs> way. Like, first thought, like taking a dump hurts like a bitch, but also like what. I'd feel so bad. I'm like, there's no way I'm clean. This is gonna be clean each time. There's just no way. I'm gonna pop into hemorrhoids and shit. Like, oh yeah, my pallets are going all over the place. <laughs> it's just, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Uh, so, so comedians, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking gross. We got John Mulaney. I like him. I don't like Fucking Anthony Jesselneck. Disgusting, dude. What? Well, we were just <laughs> talking about popping hemorrhoids and polyps. And shit. <laughs> so bloody disgusting. anal sex! Oh my god! Ah, uh, dude, the the no last they made it illegal back in the day. The let Jesus. Uh, the la- <laughs> <laughs> the last girl though. I told that not the last girl I was with, but that last girl that I was dating seriously. We fucked a couple times on her period, and I fucked girls on their period before. It wasn't that big of a. She was a. Leader, this girl had some heavy fucking flows. Like Jesus. literally, I had her doggy style, and her whole ass crack was just covered in blood. 
Ugh. And it was like bright red, like recording button light on a camera blood. Hey, oh, dude. Yeah, and <laughs> it totally put, it totally put me out of it, which like ne- has never happened before when fucking a girl on her period. Like I've usually just been like, eh, fuck, I don't give a fuck. But this time I was like, eh, this is fucking it's a little much, eh? Yeah. Oh, that's disgusting, <laughs> Mike Burbiglia. I hate blood. You're not a big Mike Mike Burbiglia, Burbiglia fan, but I did like some of his. I stuff. hope he does. Jesus, <laughs> Eugene Merman. I've seen him before. Uh, I've never really seen his stand up. David Cross. I like, but for some reason, like I always expect his stand up to be great, and I'm like, eh, well, David right. Cross stinks. You think he stinks? I think he's fine. Yeah, I think he's fine. He sucks. I don't think he sucks. That's that's too much. He also, like, is one of these, like, newer kind of, like, censorship guys where it's like, dude, you used to say faggot, shut up. Really? Yeah, he he started to come out and be like, you know, certain shit should be banned and censored. He went on that whole train. It's like, dude, you're a fucking comedian. But I already didn't like him before that, so I wasn't disappointed. But I feel like he would come at that in a way of not not like how some people say that, and then try to hide what they said in the past. I, I I could be wrong, but he. I feel like I've seen enough of him where like he would come out and say that, and then also acknowledge the fact like yeah, the stuff that I used to do, I I regret doing that. I don't think it was a good idea. Yeah, he's fucking gay. Hmm. He's just saying that because now it's not acceptable, <laughs> and he just no, goes, he's I just don't saying whatever. I don't, the, whatever I don't, the river's flowing. He's I flowing, actually like, like again. You you might be right, but we I, were in a hateful time where we were saying faggot was acceptable, and I I was a hateful person back then, and I denounced who I was. And but I think he actually like, believes up. that. I don't think he's actually saying that just to save face. That's, you know, I think it's a little convenient. For some people, I see it as yes, but I just I don't. respect the person more who didn't say it, and it's coming out against it because it's like at least they're consistent. No, because I listen. I'm coming at it at a at a not an area at a point of. I do think that even though it's hard, that some people do change as they get older, and I'm coming at it of I can see him coming at it in a way that he has changed and he actually truly believes that now, not because he's just trying to save face. Hmm. I'm That's, too cynical for that. <laughs> Uh, I'm way, I, like I'm not the most cynical person, but I know what you're saying. I just can't afford. I can't afford someone that. Yeah, but like, I feel like I, that's I'm always an, gonna think that's the worst. That's an easy out. Like I feel like any 14 year old can say something. I'm well. I'm too cynical. I. It's like. Yeah. No, it's just I just. I, I believe if faggot was still acceptable, he'd still be saying it. Hundred percent. Every part of my being believes that. True, I don't believe. But I believe the only reason he's saying it, denouncing it, is because it's popular to denounce it. Well, first so. of all, is he actually saying that or? Yeah. I mean, I don't know what's faggot specifically, but he's definitely said it about other shit. Like, well, that's just... even less worse than faggot. So, yeah. All right. So, let's just say it's faggot. He's one of these guys. Like, let's say it's the word faggot. Yeah, let's say faggot. Let's say it's faggot. Uh, let's, say faggot. All right, let's say it's the word faggot. I guess what I'm saying is a lot of. Let's just say the reason he's not saying it anymore is because you think. You think that he's not saying it anymore because a lot of people say it's a bad thing. And now he's saying, oh, yeah, yeah, it's a bad thing. But he might believe it's a bad thing because so many people are telling him it's a bad thing and why it's a bad thing. And he actually might truly believe, like, oh, you know what? I actually get it now. You know, like, I, I didn't get it before, but now I understand it. And now I understand why so many people aren't saying it anymore. And I'm going to be one of those people. Yeah, he might have rationalized it that way and just had to keep his job. Sure. But, like, at the end of the day, he's doing it to keep a job. <laughs> you don't think there's a possibility that he's doing it for another reason? No, I think the mind can work in ways where you trick yourself into thinking you're doing it for noble reasons. But No, I, think- I understand that. But you're also, it sounds like you're closing the book and saying that there's no way he's doing it for, he just really believes that. Yeah, I don't believe it. That there's a possibility that that might exist. Yeah. Okay. I don't believe that he de- I don't believe that he deep down inside believes that it's wrong. I believe he only he's he he might have convinced himself he thinks that it's wrong because everyone else does, so he's just going with the crowd, but I don't think I think the fact that he said it back in the day proves he didn't think it was wrong because he wouldn't have said it. Well that well that's not good enough proof though, because they like dude, there's stuff that I've done when I was younger that I don't think was cool that I'm older. Now I don't regret it because I don't regret who I am as a person now today, but I do acknowledge the fact that, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done, like I've done like road rage stuff. 
Like, there's a lot of things I've done in road rage where I'm like, yeah, dude, what the fuck? You're being an immature dick. That's not cool. Right. So I don't think that's proof that shows But I that. think it's different when we're talking about just using words and you're a comedian. You don't think if maybe someone said, uh, well, I don't, well. Like, if he was an actor, I'd give him a pass. But a comedian who used to say the word, it's like, eh. I think you were kind of very okay with it. I think it like helped your career a lot, probably, and like well, you knew it, was it wasn't a bad wrong. Joke? What if a comedian back in the day said a bad joke, like a joke that wasn't funny? It's like Patrice O'Neill. It's like bad jokes come from the same place as good jokes. Like you don't know if it's gonna land, but it doesn't mean you're hateful for saying it if it doesn't land. No, you no. Know? What I mean, what if someone said like just a bad joke, like literally not like a bad like because if it's offensive, just a joke that wasn't funny, like the punchline wasn't there. That's what so, I mean. Yeah. Well, what I'm saying is, and then you get older. And someone was like, hey, do you, that joke that you did for a few years, like 10 years ago, you don't do that anymore. Why not? It's like, eh, it's just, I, I've grown up and it's just not, a lot of people acknowledge that it's a bad joke. And you know what? I under, you know, I started listening to them and I realized, yeah, it's a bad joke. It's, it doesn't have a good setup. It doesn't have a good punchline. So I stopped saying it. Mm. Doesn't, you know, do you think he's lying then? Like deep down in his mind, he's like, no, I really think that's a good joke. Or maybe he's, he learned that eh, it's a fucking shitty joke. Uh, I don't know. That's a very specific thing that I wouldn't even know what to think of. I think, yeah, it's, yeah, I, I think it's normal to, I think most comedians would probably say they had horrible jokes when they first started. Yeah. <laughs> why, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I think you'd be surprised. I think you'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate the guy. I'm just saying you're, I don't. You're, you're you're thinking that I'm looking at you with my arms crossed and my head up. Like, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I realize I'm being gay about it, but I I just I don't I don't fuck with people. I don't fuck with comedians who like come out after the fact and like just because the tide changed. They're like, oh, the tide was gay before. I feel like if I it's was like, well, like you that were in with it. everyone though, then like then it's just I'm not looking like. That means every time it happens, I'm just like, oh, you save it. Like, it's just then I'm never I'm never giving anyone like, all right. Like, you know, those classic like YouTube apology videos. Yeah. As gay as they are. And they it's the and this is me saying this, which is crazy. There's got to be one, just one that's actually genuine. Right. <laughs> oh, definitely. hundred percent. So then and, and do that. And that is something that is a like fucking quintessential. Like the majority of those no. are no what? Actually, no. I'll change that. <laughs> I don't think there's one. <laughs> I gotta admit, while I'm saying this, in, my, in the back of my mind, I'm like, shut the fuck up. You know those are all bullshit. Yeah, yeah, because in my head, I'm thinking, like, I'm sure someone has made an apology video out of the blue of something they were really sorry for. But if anyone's made of an apology video after being called out publicly for something, the reason they're making it is because they're getting called out publicly. I, they, they didn't do it out of the blue. I do believe that that is the case i would say for more often than not but there what happens if someone doesn't even know they're getting called out and then like they find out that what they said probably wasn't cool or what they did wasn't cool and they they're gonna make the apology or whatever and then all of a sudden they realize oh i'm also getting called out oh shit like you know it just right yeah i'm sure it's happened i'm sure it's happened. or what about like what if like public perception is bad on someone for doing something and originally they're like, ah, eh, fuck you, it's whatever. And months or years go by and then they decide, yeah, you know, I probably shouldn't have done that or whatever. Like, it's, I feel like it's so easy to go, oh, well, they're just saying sorry because, like, everyone's been. It's like, yeah, yeah but it's like maybe, I don't know, time went by <laughs> and their emotions got the better. Like, and they realize, like, all right, man, I was being, like, emotional or whatever. But now, like, the emotions have subsided because, you know, time's gone by and they actually genuinely are sorry. Yeah, also, both things can be true. Like, what do you mean? Like, they can actually be sorry and also be doing it just to save face and keep their company up afloat. Or well, that's, that's, brand. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, that can be true too. So, I don't think the two are mutually exclusive. Um, I and mean, also, yeah. I, I don't mean to sound like I closed the book. I'll put a bookmark in it. You know what I mean? I'm not closing the book. I'll, I'll leave a little, I'll, I'll take, you know, the one that corners off. Like clo- it sounds like it. you're closing the book and putting it back. No, because I'm walking still, out I, Barnes and Noble without buying it. Because I know I sounded like that. I'm like, no, this is this, and, but like, no, nah, dude. I'm like, I'll, I'm not a hundred percent on it. I, I just lean more towards like, 
when it comes to money and someone's career, I'm gonna lean always towards they want to kind of they're gonna want to keep that afloat rather than no, I, not have it afloat. I get that, but you said before that you closed the possibility. You said no when I said you don't even think the possibility is there. You said, I know, but what I meant by that is like I think it's just a strong possibility. I, I oh, of well, course that, yeah, there's a chance. Okay. I don't know the fucking guy. You know what I mean? That's different. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. I'm just here. Here, I'll give you an insight. Into I feel my like I'm world. arguing with Brandon. <laughs> I know. I'll give you an insight into my worldview. Like, I think if t- I think if we grew up in a world where the age of consent was seventeen, I think porn sites would be fucking seventeen year olds, and we'd all be okay with seventeen year olds. Like, that's that's my. Point that was a really weird transition, but I, you know, but you know I, what I'm I th- saying. I think you're right. Also, where like if the age of consent was seventeen, and like we all grew up with like that being normal or nineteen, then. <laughs> You know, I, I don't know why I went way, 17. I could have gone by, 19, but you know what you're trying to do right now? You're trying to save face. <laughs> <laughs> you got the podium and the piece of paper. Oh, I, I, I also acknowledge that 19 could be. <laughs> yeah. But I think most of the time people just are going to align their worldview and morals with what they think is everyone else is acceptable with. Of rather course. than just like, like, dude, like there's fucking tribes that still eat people. You know, <laughs> and like that's totally fine. Uh, there's people that look at me, you, yeah, and, and then if there was another tribe that killed tribesmen who ate people, if someone was like, Well, I don't eat people anymore, all of a sudden I'd be like, Well, that guy's probably just trying to not get killed. Oh, <laughs> like, that guy's fucking gay. I don't, think he, I don't think he truly had some awakening, I think he just doesn't want to be stabbed for eating people. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then there's you know, there's you know, you and me will get looked at, you know, negatively from people who don't eat meat and people who eat meat somehow think that everyone that doesn't eat meat's a fucking fag. Oh, can <laughs> those people shut up too, by the way? Those are the those are more annoying. They've been more I'd rather listen to years. a vegan than fucking I would. a I would. carnivore. I would. The the carnivore pe- they're more annoying now. And they have been for like two, three plus years. I'll give you chicken, but like red meat, if I eat too much of it, dude, that shit fucking makes me all bloated and gassy. Part of me wants everyone that's on the carnivore diet to like die within the next six to seven years. Just so I can yeah, like Jordan yeah. Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> just OD on steak. You keep saying that. and I, I love you I'm, to death. It's, I, not, a gr- it's not a great joke. It's, it's my favorite. Until bit. he actually does <laughs> OD on steak. <laughs> Until like Jordan Peterson found dead from choking to death on bison, <laughs> then you, you can't wait to make that tweet. Like, I told you, I fucking told you. I'll walk um, away from this tonight with it like in my under my it. arm, like that bit under my arm, and I'll just see that. And that's what I'm away. saying. Ten years from now, you're gonna yeah. be like, you know what? That was because I good know bit. this funny in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, the, there's it, something funny to the point where he was only eating meat and he went in the hospital and almost died. It's like, <laughs> I, that's I the, made it yet, that's the funny part, but the, it's the fact that he started eat, doing the carnivore diet, I think, afterwards, didn't he? Maybe. Uh, yeah, you might be right. That's I don't the remember the timeline. That makes it not funny. If it was before, though, it's a great joke. It's a yeah. It's there's some. That's the thing. It right now it's not, but I definitely see what you mean. Where like, if it was funny, it would be like hysterically funny. <laughs> yeah, it'd be either like all or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> And so far, it's been nothing to anyone. You know what it is? You know what I think it is, though? I think it's the fact that I think right now, if someone heard that, the only people who would think it's really funny are like these, these like weird, like anti Jordan Peterson people. Like, right. <laughs> people who just hate him. And it's just like that makes it not They'd funny. They'd give a fake laugh to where it's like, oh, you agree with me. Yeah, that, the agree with me laugh is just fucking. Uh. I hate Christopher those Titus. <laughs> I was thinking, dude. I had his face in the his... next George Carlin. <laughs> I, I can't. I fucking. I there's don't no go worse. to that comment section. Um, Do not go. To that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we let's read some of them before we go. Oh, the worst. What was the name of his special? I'm actually upset. Something insulin. Yes, yeah, side effects. Christopher Titus. Full show. Maybe that will come. I up. believe there's a crowd there, but it is weird that he, it doesn't show the crowd ever. Well, I mean, we only saw like it's five minutes of it. Oh, true. My life has been pretty shitty recently. My car. Was, I'm not reading this. Um, comedic genius offered up to us for free. What an honor! The comedy god is about to show another home home 
I know this is what you said, but the, the seeing it written down is this comment is wild. I know George Carlin can, and there's wait the replies. Carlin was my first fave, and Titus took his. Pl- like what? How does that person exist? <laughs> <laughs> that has already like knows Carlin exists and saw this guy and was like, "Yep, takes the cake." <laughs> like you watch like one of the goat, if not the goat of all time. That's like watching Aaron Hicks playing. Go the next Barry Bonds. We don't even have to wait. He's right here. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I trust that is a good analogy. It's a great analogy. Uh, love <laughs> Titus since I first saw him on his TV show. Okay, he. Oh, I wonder if he had like a Comedy Central show. And still love him now. I waited for uh, you to release this on YouTube, and it was worth wait. Absolutely. As someone who's currently spending a lot of time and money at the dentist, I laughed way harder. Oh, my God. This man nearly killed me. PSA, do not drink coffee and watch this at the... Oh, my God. Oh, this guy made another comment. No, he didn't. People talk about the Mount Rushmore of comedians, no. and there are a few on oh. there. But Titus is the only one who has his own mountain. <laughs> this this guy... This is Christopher <laughs> Titus. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh shit, my fucking headphones. Fuck it has this is him in his underwear, like <laughs> on his alt account. Wait, someone replied it says Mount Titus does have a nice ring to uh, Oh my god. This can't be real, dude. Truly a very people. funny man and the best to ever do it. Thank you for the show. It was true comedy, Matt. And I'm over here spending $300 for a Bill Burr ticket. I should have just saw the Titus fucking special for free on YouTube. Apparently, he's the best who's ever done it. Oh, boy. That is fucking... This hurts. This hurts. What happened with that guy with um from Barstool Sports? You hear about that? Dave Portnoy? No, some guy got, like, fired oh, for saying the N-word. Yeah, uh, was it the N-word? Oh, yeah, I think he was rapping and he said the N-word. He was rapping? I oh, I forget. Hold on now. Um, like he was doing his own rap or uh, to a song? Or? Fire. Hold on, hold on. Was that that guy you... No. Oh, that's oh. the guy I tweeted about where he looks like autistic Shane Gillis. Oh, I didn't know what that meant. Do you want to see a picture of him? Yeah. I got you. I thought you were talking about a football player or something. Nah, well, I don't know if he was an ex-football player, but <laughs> I swear to God. Wait, I'm a, don't look him up. I just wanted, I want this to pop up in Discord. I don't even know what his name is. See your reaction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he actually does look autistic, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel bad for, oh, uh, dude, he, oh, shit, he might be autistic. Oh, he might actually be. Damn, he got fired for that. Said the N word. Um, was it that Barstool? Oh my God, this ben guy Mintz actually fired looks mentally challenged. For, yeah, for reciting. Oh, reciting a racial slur from a Bone Thugs and Harmony song. Do you know who Bone Thugs and Harmony is? I've heard of them. Yeah. So he was reciting a song and he said the N word in it, and he got fired. Eh. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't. This guy looks retarded. I I don't think it's a big deal. I think. Some people are making a big deal about it because um, I think Barstool Sports has kind of like it came up as like the edgy sports talk thing. And the fact that they're firing someone is like, oh, you guys fucking you're, you're too corporate now. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. For, I don't know though. But uh, apparently, I don't know. Maybe the guy will have his own fucking podcast. That kind of like that. That's like the way to go, though. Like gain some popularity with like some network. Get fired for saying, I don't know, a racial slur or something or like slapping a girl in the ass and then have your own podcast and then just like yeah, make, become a martyr. Yeah, make more money. He should call his like, he should be like the nigga podcast. Was, yeah. What's his, <laughs> whatever his name is. What was his name? Something Mints? I have no idea. Just, I heard about it. Just name his like podcast a, Nigga Mints. I heard about that and that, right after you told me, it showed me that guy that said it on ben like, the NFL. Yeah. Nigga Mints actually Who's has a good guy? Mints too. Imagine that. Like, you just go to like like a fucking shitty corner store and like right next to the Altoids is like Nigga Mints. Nigga Mints. <laughs> <laughs> Did that other guy get fired? 
What other guy? That you showed me? The picture I showed you was the guy that got fired. No, the guy that you sent me on Twitter. He looked like he was a football announcer or something. Oh, the guy who didn't say the Negro uh, Baseball Museum. He said the no-no. Yeah. Um, hold on. Let was me... that recently? Yeah, it was. Um, well, oh, dude, hold on. There's a there's another guy that actually did get. Hold on. Negro. Oh, one did, did sportscaster really use the N-word referring to? Yeah, he accidentally said that. Glenn Cooper, who's been around for a while. Glenn Cooper. Dude, it's hilarious because I, when I wrote that back to you, I thought, like, I was just thinking I didn't know the name of what it actually was. So when I wrote, like, the N-Word League, I, I thought I was making, like, a joke. And you were like, oh, no, that's what he was saying. I was like, wait, what? Well, here's the thing. Oh, this, I thought it was some word I'd never heard of. Okay, this is the, see, this is the thing that just is, like, cr- <laughs> crazy to me. So... He said that currently it doesn't look like he's been fired. There's all, there there are a lot of people that are like behind him, like supporting him. Like he just slipped up, which I mean, <laughs> he did slip up. It, it fucking, <laughs> if, I mean, but you know what's funny? It's like if there, you know what? It's the same. Th- Remember when that fucking sales rep came to that guy's house? It was like, hey, I just wanted to let you know we're uh, selling. I, we're, oh, I felt so bad. I, for that guy. Well, dude, because I'm a, I'm a sales rep and I've had that, yeah. like, don't say the worst thing in the world. Don't say the worst. It's like, what can be the worst thing in the world you can say to a black guy? Oh. <laughs> and, part, and, and, the, and the dude just goes, hey, yo, man, just uh, get get off my, my porch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the just, guy wasn't even mad. He was just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Which made it worse. It made it so like, much more worse. Like, that's how much of an accident it was, obviously, that he was just like, man, get out of here. Yeah, what are you doing, bro? I ain't buying you. You, ain't, back, you, you ain't never going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> now with that yeah. shit coming out your mouth. <laughs> you, you ain't never going to make it. But oh, anyways, I forgot about that guy. But uh, the the Glenn that guy, guy said it hard, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh, and with an S at the end, so that means he had to he had to stick the ER and then like do an extra per lay up or whatever to get some extra points from the judges. Like he just fucking like fucking woof, like foo 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 rapid fire. Um, oh, the Glenn guy though doesn't look like he was fired. But dude, the other day, so Bob Huggins, right? Is, Little fucking Bob. Is uh, that the guy with the beard who was next to him? No, 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 no. Bob Huggins, totally different guy. Who? Let me see. Okay, he's current. I don't think currently ex NBA player John calls out. Okay, so he currently wasn't fired yet from West Virginia. He's the West Virginia men's basketball coach, college basketball coach. He's been there forever. Okay. He um he was like basically shooting the shit on a radio show or a podcast. I forget. They were making jokes, and I guess. Something with the Xavier fans, or they might have been like gay Xavier fans, like we're throwing dildos or something at one at a game or so. I don't know, but basically, on this radio show, Bob Huggins calls them Catholic faggots, <laughs> and, and the host kind of laugh and da da da, and then like a minute goes by or what, and then like he's off the show or something, right? Mm. Obviously, he's being lambat. But dude, I just saw this article just now because I was looking up the Glenn Cooper thing or whatever. And it's titled, if you're mad at Bob Huggins but shrugged at Glenn Cooper, you're part of the problem. And I'm like, uh-huh. in my head, I'm like, ah. three three things go on in my head. One, okay, this, whatever, Deadspin, I guess, is the people who, make, who made this article. One, obviously, like, this fucking website that makes articles or what, Deadspin, obviously, like, sways in a different direction like they obviously have a demographic that they're trying to target mm. two i don't maybe i am maybe i'm not and three they're not the same thing yeah, <laughs> they're not, yeah. like <laughs> one guy literally just said yeah the catholic faggots like now he was saying it as a joke but <laughs> like, and was, wasn't he saying it when it was like he thought he was off the mic no 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 no, no. both of them uh, were on the mic but the other one you know what the one I'm talking about though? Wasn't it that one guy who no, like, was, that said w- something? Else. Bill Burr used to talk about it. I feel like my That's buddy just it. showed me this, and this actually only happened a few years ago, and I didn't know about it. Um, it is a deep fly ball from Castiati, dude. This guy is—it's—he was a meme for a while because of 
how he apologized for it. But yeah, he was he thought he was off mic. And he was talking about the other team, and he was like, eh, "Fucking faggots." Or whatever. No, no. Then he like came back on. Am I thinking of that? He right? was off the air, but it was a hot mic, meaning the mic was on. But he thought he was off, and he called uh, San Francisco. I think it was like the fag capital of the world. That's right. Yeah, that's what. It was. And then like, <laughs> then he came on like later in the game, or like right or right, right when he came back on. That's hilarious. He goes, oh, I just wanted to uh, apologize for what I said. Da, da, da. And then halfway through the apology, Castellanos, who's a, he's a baseball player, hits a home run. So the guy goes back into reporting. The, <laughs> and there's a deep fly ball on the cast. And then he goes back into his apology. It's one of the funniest <laughs> fucking. Dude, it's insanity. It's insane. And then he was fired promptly afterwards. That's so funny, though. He like, and there's a just, deep fly ball. And dude, <laughs> my, <laughs> he's such a good announcer. It just kicked in. And then <laughs> apparently like what became a meme of it is anytime there's like a really like tragic event that goes on or like world news or something and someone's reporting it or that event is happening, someone will then cut in and there's a deep fly ball to cast you. <laughs> like imagine like right before uh, like the or right when the plane hits the tower, you just cut to and there's a deep fly ball again. Okay? <laughs> it's fucking great, dude. It's amazing. That's hilarious. That is fun. That's comedy gold right there. That's a good meme. Yeah. So this guy, he the Catholic faggot is pretty funny though. It's that's hilarious. It, it, it's just a funny phrase. It's it's funny to me and you, but in the sports where it's not gonna fly. Mm. And then the other thing's not gonna fly too, but you can at least even if it wasn't an accident, you can totally go, uh oh, well, I mean like Let's just say Glenn was like, as soon as he said that, and he went off air in his mind, he's like, yes, I've been wanting to fucking say that for fucking three decades. And I finally said, but he can still find a way to say, oh, no, it was an accident. I, I met Negro. Right, basically. right. The other one he can't say is an accident. He can only say, I didn't actually mean that, and I'm sorry for what I said. Like, you So know, why he, did he say it uh, Like on hot mic? Was he like drunk? No, or? the other, it wasn't a hot mic. It was a regular mic. He's 69. No, that's what I mean. Oh, like, why did he... Like, he knew he was being broadcasted. He's why six, did he call I, them Catholic faggots if he knew? The first thing I thought of was, he's old as fuck. He might just oh. not give a fuck. If he gets fired, he... Like, he might just be like, fuck it. If I get fired, I get fired. I don't care. Right, right. He just doesn't care. Yeah. That makes sense. He could have been drinking, maybe, too, or feeling himself. You have to remember, too. Like, some people, like, say stuff, and it's business decisions too like there's mm. people that say stuff and you go why would they say that they fired him and, lo- and then lo and behold they they have like some like conservative talk show now right yeah they were trying to get out of a contract or, yeah like they they got they out of something tied to kanye west it it made them more popular than ever and now they're gonna just make money off their own brand and sell to a specific demographic that falls in lines with some of their personal beliefs you know which, to be honest, I feel like the sports sports fans are a demographic that wouldn't care about someone saying faggot for the most part. I feel like it's pretty. Like if you're into baseball, you're not really. It's pretty divided. Like if you like basketball, definitely panders to like more young people who are. Um, and this is not political. This is more just social, like liberal. Right. Um, yeah, yeah. And hockey definitely is more like say conservative, like branding. But I think most sports, they brand themselves, at least in America, they lean more liberal because I think it's more inclusive in a way. And also, I think the younger you are, you're, it's kind of like that Shane Gillis joke, like everyone's mm. dad is a Fox News dad. Yeah. I think as you get more older, you get more conservative. Right. But young people are more liberal and sports people know like that's where the that's where the dollars are, are kids like. Yeah, we want like city kids buying our shoes and yeah, we want kids begging their parents to buy the fucking NBA 2K or whatever and Madden and every just all that shit. You know, there's no, I don't see a lot of forty, fifty year olds playing Madden. (laughs) True. Yeah, that's a good point. Kids are Catholic faggots is a great drop though. It's such a good phrase. I don't think I've ever heard that in my entire life. Well, because it's a diss against Catholics, which liberals would kind of like, but then that word comes into it and it kind of like breaks great. their brains. It, it hurts. It kills both kinda sides. Kind of like saying like conservatives are faggots or something. It, it hurts both sides. It's great. Yeah. It's like, let me piss off everyone. Everyone. <laughs> what a great. Bob Huggins is the greatest NBA, uh, college basketball coach of all time. That is a great point. He's probably because the Catholic church probably calling. They're like. 
I mean, they used to. I don't know what they're doing nowadays, but they used to be super into like getting people fired back in the day. Now it's like the opposite. You think? Yeah, I think the Catholic Church would still be pissed if you called them out. Oh, no. They're, like, no. the organization itself would probably definitely make some calls. But also, there's a lot of churches now. I don't know if it's Catholic, but I'll, there's a lot of Christian churches you'll see. And I actually drove, drove by one the other day. They'll have, like, the pride flag, like, on their... I see that, yeah. yeah. So they're all telling you, like, hey, we're cool with it, you know? Kind of, maybe, yeah. we need they're another David Testament. crossing it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they got their crosses behind their backs. Yeah, yeah. It's like, dude, come on. Did you, you burn just want people, people at the stake? Paying you? Yeah. No, no, but yeah, people can change. You know? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's not that fucking. Has nothing to do with. Don't be cynical. That, nothing to do with that fucking golden tr- plate going around collecting money. That's... The gall, the guy with the wicker basket and the change. stick. Those little bastards. How dare they? You don't even pay taxes. I, I gotta figure out a way to do that, by the way. I know. How do you start a religion, dude? That's where Scientology went right. People shit on them all the time. It's like they don't pay fucking taxes, brother. Yeah, fuck you. They're doing. <laughs> they make a hundred percent of their money. Like, yeah, you're out of your mind. Like, oh, those bastards. It's like, dude, if you could not pay your taxes, would you? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's what I hate. People that go like, but we have to have taxes. It's like, bro, if you could find out that. The IRS and your state fucked up, and you're not paying any taxes. You ain't saying a fucking not a word. word. <laughs> and if you do say a word, it's only because like you don't want to get in trouble or owe it back. Of it, it's not because in the goodness of my heart, I just can't. I cannot do. It. It's like <laughs> fuck you, you yeah. liar. I feel like a lot of those people also are so dumb, though. They're the type of people that like brag about getting money back when they do their taxes. They're like, God, they actually give me money. It's like, no, no, no. You're getting like a, a percentage of your refund that you paid already. That means you gave too much to the government. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, yeah, yeah, easy there, buddy. <laughs> we, need you, we need you still to buy shit on Amazon. We yeah. need this like, fucking Ponzi scheme to keep going. They get a few hundred bucks and then they blow it at a bar and they think they're like winning in life. It's like, dude. It's unreal. You know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about dumping all my client shit. Just going on unemployment and then working under the table for, like, a bunch of money. Yeah, why not? Fuck it, you know? It's I've, like, I've done that. Yeah. Uh, like, however many years ago. I feel ago, like the money like that I can't... make now isn't worth it. I'm just tired, dude. I'm, bo- I'm bored. That's what it is. I'm bored. I hate being mm. bored. Yeah. I've been bored recently, too, but. With other stuff? Yeah, just with, just with, yeah, with like video games and shit. I don't, I don't like them anymore. But you got the Zelda one. I know, but that's gonna be my last one for a while. Oh, I feel like uh, the time waste. Not even, not even a time waste. I just feel like you said, I feel just, it's just boring. Mm. I'm like, I think I'm outgrowing them. <sighs> Could happen. Yeah, you should. Yeah, work. Go work on the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drop yeah. your job I, I really like I'm legitimately thinking about it um, and I, like, uh, yeah. I know like my parents would be like why would you do that you had such a great it's like yeah but dude I just I don't like I don't want to be like in my 40s and going yeah you know same old same like no I'm just mm. even if like like hands in my pockets i know this is like a gay thing this and this is and oh my god dude this literally goes back to what we were saying but you know money's not everything (laughs) (laughs) well it isn't though it isn't though yeah but i'm legitimately like okay with like just well i'm saying that now but maybe i'm not but like at the moment i'm legitimately saying like it's not everything and i also might take the next step of just like kind of dumping a lot of it and not making as much because i just don't kind of i don't kind of, it's weird dude like i kind of th- this physical health thing with me really like really all right this is where i'm closing my eyes but it really made me think no, of I, I, i'm with you 100 percent of where you're going with this <laughs> it's just like when i'm physically feeling good and everything like i even if i had like a yacht in a fucking island and i felt like shit i feel like shit i don't want to mm-hmm. like, so it's like i really like I just don't, I don't, like, I don't... When you have chronic pain, dude, it, it puts everything in perspective. <laughs> yeah, I just don't... Like, that's all that matters. I don't have wants of, like, po- you know, porcelain tile or something. I'm just trying to think, like, other, like, rich shit that was, like, um... 
I don't know, just fucking, I don't know, pedophile islands and shit. I I just don't have grandeur for that. (laughs) Yeah. I don't care. I kind of just... I know this, this, this kind of sounds like someone who's given up, but this really is not true. I, I'm happy with just like simply like sitting down and watching sports. Yeah. Like I have all these subscriptions. There's all these streaming services, right? That, by the way, that I don't pay for. <laughs> I sign into <laughs> friends accounts. I don't even use them, dude. I just like, I just, <laughs> so I don't know. I just, uh, if something piques my interest, then yeah, I'll want to do it. But like, there's nothing like I really want. There, I have stuff on my like bucket list and my New Year's resolution that I want to do, but it's nothing like major. It's nothing crazy. Like skydiving is one of them. I'm gonna do that once and then go from there. Like, yeah, yeah. it's what it is, you know. I guess, but I guess the other thing is, I do understand. Like, you know, I need some sort of like finances to live in this type of world at the moment even if i go to a poor country like you need money so like i just you know i want to do what i like doing and i've i've really liked what i've done the past several years but i'm right i'm starting to get bored with it yeah i feel that well anytime you're doing the same thing over and over i don't know how much of it you're doing the same but yeah if you're doing the same thing over and over it becomes fucking monotonous yeah i don't think humans especially if it's were... something you're doing for money well, I'm doing it for Even money. Even if you like it, it's true. like you're still doing it for money true, and it's true, still true, the true. same task over and over true. and over and over. Very true. I don't think humans were meant to fucking do the same thing for 20 no. plus years. I just Every don't. hunt was different, you know? Yeah. Now I just go to Stop and Shop the same aisle every time, get the same shit. <laughs> Yeah, grab you, my same card, pay it the same ever, fucking thing. You ever thing, go to drive a different store route. and buy the same thing just because it's different, and you're buying the same thing? <laughs> yeah, it's embarrassing. Just a different brand. Yeah, but mm. it's the same product. Triscuits or Wegmans flavored <laughs> yeah. uh, crack uh, wheat crackers. <laughs> oh, oh, canola <laughs> oil, flaxseed oil. Oh, oh. Yeah, even if I go up a tax bracket, I still can't eat anything, really. So that's something I think of, too. Like, no matter how rich I got, I still can't eat shit. So yeah. that's always going to be a thing in my life that just sucks. <laughs> I could be a billionaire and I still can't fucking eat, like, half of the shit. Yeah. That's... I guess the next time I talk to you, I'll let you know if I quit. <laughs> 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 be like, hey, uh, I- I'm I'm working off of Starbucks's uh, fucking internet connection, so... Uh... I'm in public. I'm gonna have to keep the slurs down a bit. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any? Um, do you have any places to, you want to move to, like perm- semi permanently, or try Co- out Colombia? Colombia. Yeah. Like in like in like like Mexico, the, like the country. <laughs> yeah. Is that in Mexico? It's close. Um. It's a uh, fuck. Like, where is it's it? It's like one of the first countries north in South America. Is it Brazil? Yeah, well, yeah, it's on. It's Argentina. On, it's on. No, it's on the border of Brazil. Yes. Oh, okay. For some reason, I didn't think it was. So that. So that's. I thought you were learning Spanish, though. They speak Spanish in Colombia. Oh, I thought Brazil was Portuguese. Brazil speaks Portuguese, yes. But in Colombia specifically, they speak Spanish because it's also a different country. That might be the reason. Oh, I thought it was the capital. Well, not the capital, but I thought it was a, uh, what's it called? Nope. A state or Every, whatever. Everything you're saying now. Oh, okay. Colombia, its own thing. It's own thing. I told you, dude, I'm terrible with geography. I, I think That's there's what more to the it than that, but yeah. Uh, yes, what, there's a lot what of... What do you mean? <laughs> nothing. I don't mean nothing. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I don't mean anything. What, just because I'm not as versed in geography as you, I'm all of a sudden retarded and everything? Well, there's a lot of other reasons right, why you're me, retarded. Tell me, who, tell me who the villain of Zelda is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, you're retarded. Shut up. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, we're into different things. I am dumb. There's Wait, there's multiple villains in Zelda. Are you talking I know, but the main one. Ganon? Yeah. Yeah, you looked that up. Though. I looked that up immediately. <laughs> By the way, I just looked up that villain. That is the dumbest looking villain I've ever seen. Yeah, he's kind of gay. That is a gay. Like, really, this game got popular. That's the villain. Back in like uh, the twenty, like twenty sixteen, people were trying to say that Nintendo was racist because he's like dark skinned. What? Ganon. 
He's from like a desert. He's like looks Middle Eastern or whatever. They're like, see, this is dude. I Republican. look at Gannon, right? Like mm. G A N N O N. Fucking one day ago, crazy, not insane. Colorado woman found guilty of killing eleven year old stepson. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just wanted to look at it. Sounds like <laughs> I know. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I put too many ends. It's only one. It's one end. Well, there's two ends. There's two, not three. Um. So is this like a? Is this like a a like a actual goal? Like that you are going to do? Hair. Oh, that I'm going yeah, to quit. No, no, the Columbia thing. Like I. It's, I didn't mean like a, what's a dream place. I mean like is there a realistic place you're trying to move like in the next like I'm, five to ten years? Yeah, I want to. I want to leave with definitely within the next five to ten years. But I don't know. I like the thing that sucks about Colombia is the potential of being hurt because mm. you know I've been told by a lot of my Spanish friends, the ones who like were born and like one one who was born in Colombia, where it's just like. Yeah, they're gonna look at you like just white boy, not from like you're fucked. <laughs> like like they mm. literally telling me like you're fucked, and I'm like, well, fuck, dude, like I, fuck. <laughs> and, but it's like, it's uh, apparently everyone all also. It's a beautiful country. It's very cheap to live. Like Costa Rica is actually one of the expensive countries to live in in terms of Spanish countries. Like yeah, where Colombia is still very cheap, but like there's the fucking drug world that's down there and there's a lot, you know, there's crime and like, I'm just a, if I'm a target, if I go down there, you know, I'm, you know, I don't want to live like that my, the rest of my life. where like, where I fucking like have to look behind my fucking back over my shoulder all the time. Yeah. You, if you live there, you want to live in like a castle with guards. What about Puerto Rico? It's a tax haven. Is it like, but that's part of America, right? So like what it is, but it's like, I know there's I know there's people who live there. Like I think like they that speak Peter Schiff English guy. in Guyana. Maybe I should go to Guyana. That's probably a bad fucking area. Once again, never heard of it, but Oh Guyana. I'm sorry, Guyana. Oh guy guy Guyana. Oh, it's right above Guyana, Brazil. Money. I don't know. This place doesn't look as good. Colombia. It's well because Colombia is also Colombia is beautiful and they have beautiful. Yeah, Colombia looked way. But this place looks third world. Colombia peso is twenty one to one Guyanese dollar. That makes Guyanese Colombians money worse, right? That's how it works, right? I forget USDA. United States dollar USDA. <laughs> USDA. <certified>. USDA. <laughs> <laughs> one dollar is four thousand five hundred sixty one Colombian pesos. Jesus. How many Guyanese dollar? There's some two hundred eleven Guyana women. Let's look at the women. Uh, yeah, I remember they are dark skinned. Colombians are more like like just that light hot. They're just fucking gorgeous. Ah. Yeah, I'm more into the Colombian women than the Guyanese women. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. The cool thing about the world we live in now is you could learn the language really fast. Yeah, but I'm still going to... They're going to know... Like, I can learn the language, but they're going to know that I sound... Like, they're going to know. They're not going to be like, oh, what, yeah, are, they, what part of Colombia They're going to know you're from? white. Yeah, it's... Say, yeah. So, yeah, I'm on a... I'm on a vacation here. Yeah, yeah. Once you leave the resort, that ain't gonna. That doesn't cut it. Yeah. <laughs> My dad parked the yacht, fucking a few fucking twenty you, miles off the coast. And it's not a movie. You can't be like, you know what? I live here. You know, I'm not gonna be afraid of this. You know, and they're gonna be like, oh, we respect that. No, they're gonna fucking tear you out of your fucking grab car. the machetes. Yeah, and they're gonna cut your head off and be like, we're not dealing <laughs> with this shit today. <laughs> Fuck Mail you. Mail it to your uncle, fucking. Yeah. Fuck your corpse. Hey, the, Feed it to the chickens. Your nephew got a little chirpy. It'll <laughs> make you into cocaine. Send it to your brother and be like, yo, little bro, <laughs> we got a package for you. <laughs> Go to Hawaii. <laughs> so where it's like dumb expensive? That I wouldn't mind either yeah. because you know what? I've heard Hawaii is a little bit of the same. Though. Work on the beach. Well, yeah, Hawaii, there's, there's some bad I've, parts, uh, bro. There's a lot of bad parts in Hawaii. I had a bot, a really good, like, I had one of those family friends we called uncle growing up. Yeah. Um, Who lived in Hawaii for, like, six years. And then I had a boss that I worked for for a few years who lived in Hawaii when he was, 
for like a decade. And they both said that in um at least on in Maui, they both lived in Maui and they said that there was like a they looked at white people kind of down on them and you could like get into trouble if you were in certain parts. I believe it. And I was like, yeah, I mean, we kind of did fucking like settle their fucking island, take it over. Yeah, and then had them work all the shitty jobs. Yeah. And then like threw them in volcanoes and shit, so. Why would you do this? Why would you beat me up? Oh, huh, huh, well, let me, hmm, Derek, let me break it down to you. <laughs> And then they, they do it while singing a song. Like the Japanese bombed our harbor. The people like, invaded our islands and raped our women. Da, da, da. <laughs> Rape your and then you had me work at the Hilton. All right. Um, my uh, <laughs> eating window is about to close. So I think yeah. we're going to call this one. All right. <laughs> That's a good way. <laughs> <laughs> I got a mosey. <laughs> a nice chat it's, with you. It's, yeah, and that's, that sounds appropriate. <laughs> All right, man. I'll, but, good old buddy, old pal. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll let you know when the next one is. All right, dude. Catholic faggots. Catholic nigga faggots. Negro. Museum. All right, later. Peace.